you sitting comfortably? Hello there, everybody. Hope you are all doing well. Uh, I just want to point out uh, how happy I was uh, that for a while there, uh, the vibing cat synced up with the song. It's not too far off. That's pretty cool. Uh, it made me happy anyway. I don't think anyone else cares, but uh, I did. So, you know. 
Uh, oh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much there, uh, the great potato mage. <laughs> for the sub, thank you very much. Oh, and thank you, um, Weird Soup, as well, for the sub. Just noticed that. Thank you very much. And hello, everybody. I thought it had been intentionally synced to the song. No, 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 that was just, that's his, that's his default one. I'm, I'm not extra enough to uh, manually sync it in with whatever song it was. It's like, it wasn't a perfect one, so it occasionally slipped out a little bit, but like, it, it got back into it pretty easy, so I'm, I'm all right with that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to play some Dawn of War. More specifically, Dark Crusade. The reason why we're playing Dark Crusade over, say, Soulstorm or even the uh, original is... Um, and that's why. Uh, no, it's my. It's the one I, I personally... Um, I, 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 it's the one I like the best uh, out of all of them. Uh, and it's playing it regular. I'm not playing with any mods on. I, I, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. I, I've played a bunch of Dawn of War mods, and I, I, I don't really like any of them. <laughs> uh, they, uh, I, I find a lot of them just uh, do do either do too much or just kind of take away from what I like about the game. So you know. I don't tend to bother. Uh, now I will be being joined uh, by Longfang. Uh, but uh, his takeaway arrived unreasonably late, and so he is busy consuming food as of right now, and he will be along along shortly. Um, but uh, but yeah, um, we shall uh, we shall play some of this. Uh, main reason being, of course, uh, that it's Warhammer Fest right now, and uh, we like I assume all of you since you're here right now <laughs> aren't uh, aren't there and uh so we will be having we're having a little warhammer fest of our own uh and and all the people who are actually at warhammer fest they can't get into this one i mean i guess they can if they've got an internet connection but you know what i mean <laughs> you're implying that putting a gigantic overpowered titan on screen is slightly anathema to the game's design controversial i know i know it's it's ridiculous <laughs> I remember for years people were trying to get us to play the Ultimate Apocalypse mod and we were like, we didn't, we, we just didn't because we just didn't really care. And then when we did uh, the charity stream, the 24 hour charity stream a few years back, uh, I did finally play it and then was like, wow, this fucking sucks. Why did everyone try and get us to play this for years? It fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't worry, Longfang. You, you you arrive whenever you are ready. Longfang arrives neither early nor late. That whole thing. Oh, sketches has redeemed a posture check. Well, I'm. I've not been in the stream for long enough to have a horrendous posture yet. So, <laughs> but thank you. Uh, and a... oh. Cutting out for the whole stream, just popping by uh, to wish you all the best. I hope Snipe is doing well. Thank you very much, Great Tooth. I shall, I shall pass that along. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, uh, random, random 40k fact. Ah. Lionel Johnson backwards is. This is about a poem, and every that's the only thing anyone knows about the Dark Angels. It's abbreviated though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there is often uh, a, uh, a a fact that's put around the uh, since um, the Dark Angels are named after a poem called "The Dark Angel" by by Lionel Johnson, uh, and it's about being uh, gay. Uh, that the Rock is named after a gay bar in Nottingham. Uh, there is no such gay bar. It is not true. I'm afraid. <laughs> but it's the other parts are true, but that part isn't. That was a random Pedro Pascal fact. If you feel up to taking that one. And the latest day for the Last of Us, he wore honest to god tabby boots. 
He did, yes. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Nah, people can people can look it up. <laughs> But yeah, um, sorry, I, I um, got lost. I, I was lost in the source for a second. There. I was just reading chat and then things were, as I was trying to scan through, uh, my brain just apparently completely shut down. I'm having one of those sort of days, so this is this is boding well. Um, but yeah, so um, we should play some uh, Dawn of War Dark Crusade. And I... I don't know... Oh, oh. I believe. Okay. We have the long fang here. Hello. Hello. I am here now. You are here now. Was your takeaway good, even if it was quite late? I kind of didn't take the time to taste it, but yeah, it was okay. <laughs> okay. I I am glad. What did you have? Uh Oh, second. Uh, I had... Uh, 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 Japanese curry. Japanese curry. Oh, fancy. Yes. Fancy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We have our local place. Uh, ah, cool. Does that. Cool. Uh, but yes, you are joining me for for this um, for our. We'll call it a festival of Warhammer. Yes. One could say a Warhammer. Get together, mm, yeah, 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 um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, also, before we go any further, is anyone having trouble with fucking buffering? I haven't noticed it so far. I was watching it on my phone, um, uh, while I was like scoffing and uh, smoking and such. Dawn of Warhammer Fest, ah, that'd work better, yeah, uh, there you go, yeah, true. Uh, Okay, seems all right. Okay, good, because yeah, uh, people were here on Thursday. Oh boy, uh, Twitch uh, that was fucked. Twitch uh, was fucking up, and then combined with my internet um, falling down a well, and there was n there was no lassie to help save it. It fucking Wait, died fucking down. Say that there. as well, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, why didn't they just call it Total Warhammer? You mean you mean uh, Total War Warhammer? Uh, pro or Warhammer Total War? I presume uh, uh, copy because, dates, probably. Yeah, it's because they're, they're then they because the Total War is a trademark name and Warhammer is mm -hmm. like a trademark name, so they have yep. to keep them separate. That's why everyone just calls it Total Warhammer anyway. Yeah, um, which apparently Total Warhammer Three, the one the, the the latest one, is the last one. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. Um, oh, someone asked about uh, like the announcements and stuff for 10th edition that have been put out. Oh, I haven't even seen them. Looks interesting. Um, I mean, they've, they've shown off... Mini. Yeah, they've shown off a bunch of new models and stuff. Um, I can't fucking remember what it's called. Uh, the, the, the new floaty Tyranid um, big zone throat, basically. Um, oh, there's a, there's a big zone throat now. Okay. Um, basically. Okay, uh, all the first reveals in one place. Okay, good. It's uh, Neuro Tyrant. There we go. Um, That's a good name. Yeah, I, I legit oh, really like it. Oh, um, a literal Screamer Killer. Good. Yeah, I'm glad yeah, it's Screamer better than back. The, the old one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a face with arms. Yeah, I know the Neuro Tyrant rad. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good. I, I, I like that, I think, because it really leans into the uh, Eldritch Horrors. Uh, yes. Of that. Um... I, w I won't get into it because I'm like half. I, I keep I keep like wanting to make like videos where I I like talk about a subject surrounding like Warhammer and like thoughts around it. And I always get I always end up stumbling uh, largely because uh, I end up feeling like um, okay. I'm going to say this is going to sound bad. No. Uh, and, and I and I and I want to just clarify: you don't have Raise to jump in. Um, which is that I I tend to back down off them because my opinions are bad and terrible and ill-informed. Um, 
Uh, but more because I think it's more because I am, I am uh, inexperienced with putting forth those ideas, so I I tend to back down off them because I feel like other when it comes to like a lot of gameplay stuff, I feel like uh, I'm I am uh, I don't play the game in uh, well, I don't get enough chances more accurately to play the game enough to mm. like really warrant getting deep into it. Um, so even though my opinions are valid and um, perfect, uh, because they're mine, and therefore they're the, the only good version of that opinion. Yep. Uh, <laughs> That's how it works. Uh, you know, I, I often feel like backing down of them. Although I... Because we've now got um, Primaris Stern Guard, but they're not Primaris Stern Guard, they're just Stern Guard. Um, oh, which, the love of fuck. which along with Terminator suggests that they're kind of blend, like starting to try they're and starting blend, to blend them together. Um, but then that introduces a million problems because um, devastator squads. <laughs> well, you have things like uh, like let's just let's just take on on a basic level um, a tactical squad. Um, if you if you decide that you want that's how you want to go forward and you just want to start blending the old and new together because rules wise there's funch basically nothing really ch- differentiating first one and Primaris these days. Mm. Um, nothing of consequence. It's I'm like going to say that guns. the, the Stern Guard with the heavy bolter, uh, with the drum magazine, looks real good. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fun. Um, but uh, but because of doing that, uh, you, you know, if you're going to try and merge them, things like tactical squads become like really um tricky because tactical squads were made were uh, the original like formation of them and how they are. Um, for like the the structure of this fairly customizable multi-purpose squad uh, mm. is just not something that modern space marine design leans into even slightly. Uh, mm. Everything is specialized now, and so that means if you want to just use those as if you just want to make it so that functionally they just become the same as intercessors, mm. um, then you either have to add uh, a special and heavy weapon to intercessor squads, which they're not going to do. Because then that means that their their um, aim towards simplicity of data line uh, of um, data sheets uh, gets mm-hmm. screwed up. Yeah. Or you have to just accept that and then mean that everyone's tactical squad is now an eight man squad. <laughs> um, yeah. And you have to remove two, uh, and it gets um, it gets uh, yeah. There was a stern guard with a firstborn uh, helmet. It was yeah, a, he's pro- got a mark seven helmet. I want to say or mark eight. It's a Mark, yeah, it's a Mark Seven helmet. Yeah, uh, uh, they are staying there. That like the Stern Guard veterans are they're combining stuff from older armor marks as well, which makes it sound like they're probably our firstborn as well as Primaris and a veteran squad. It, it sounds like they're trying to like blend those two, and I and I think a Stern which Guard's I'm probably happy with. Stern Guard's kind of a good place to do that because um, by the look of it, they are retaining their much heavy, heavier customization options with them. Yeah. Uh, so you know. Um, but it, it's going to be one of those things where whatever they do, it's going to be messy as fuck. Um, because mm-hmm. the, the, the only, uh, the only correct option was, uh, in hindsight was to just, just make Primaris just be the new tactical Marines. Yeah. Or just I make didn't mind, that's, that, that's um, the thing. I didn't mind, um... The, the idea of okay, you've got your force of there, your uh, whole force of firstborn, and then you've got a couple of primary squads that have specific roles, but now it's becoming a bit more of an issue. Yeah, a uh, poet. Thank you for the dollar. A sandwich is a shit canoe. Uh, yep. What? <laughs> but, I... Hello. Yep. Okay. Still can't stand straight with pants. Then hello, Lynn. Oh, hi, Lynn. <laughs> Yeah, look, Lynn's, Lynn's on hefty painkillers right now, so... <laughs> I hope you're doing okay. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I think the, uh, the, big, the big problem is that, yeah, they... Um, is the... Uh, n- n- like, you know, from a narrative sense, making them a separate thing was, was, a, was a neat idea. Um, but um, making them so in-game and how they went forward has just created so many problems that have spun off it until yeah. we've reached a point where there is no right answer. Um, mm-hmm. and whatever you do, you're going to fuck a load of people off. Like, there's no yep. good answer anymore. Um, 
And it's weird because the game's managed to avoid this for the most part up till now. Like, um, you can mm. play Eldar models from Rogue Trader. You can play Orc models from Rogue Trader. There's individual units, of course, that have become mm -hmm. unusable over time. Um, but like a Screamer in... Killer was unusable up until now. Well, I mean, you could just run it as certain types of Khan effects. It was fine. Yeah, it but, was you know... just a Khan effects. So, um, True. Uh, it was just a, yeah, Khan effects variant. Um, so... I don't think actually hasn't there been rules for screamer killers in recent editions anyway. They just used the Carnifex kit. Oh, I don't fucking know. Um, I might I might be wrong there. I, it's been a while since I've looked through the um, one. Um, oh, the future of 40k will be putting a rogue trader marine net with a shuriken catapult next to a Primaris infiltrator. Have that be the same model gameplay as always? Yeah, and that's that's sensible. Like, I mean, I, I know I know that me, I've, honestly. I've got um, a. Um, a vested interest here because I'm currently building an army made of 1980s models. Um, but uh, wasn't there an Imperial with a Shuriken catapult recently, though? Uh, yes, but it was an Inquis a radical Inquisitor, so they can get away with it. Yeah, they, they do all sorts of dumb shit. Um, whereas a Space Marine wielding one, quite different. Um, they haven't actually unveiled much EOS stuff yet, other than like you know Underworlds and Warcry. That's interesting. I, I think I think New Forty K is going to kind of take the limelight. Yeah, um, yeah. Because that's the next big thing. I just wanted um, to see Funky Stormcast or like weird shit. Mm. Granted, the Stormcast minis they have shown yeah. off look real nice. Um, and yeah, AOS tomorrow as well, so that would that make sense. Oh, okay. Um. But um, but yeah, no, it, it's one of those one of those things where I I, I just like I quite I quite like I think one of the things that makes War Warhammer quite nice over say say like um uh, something like Magic the Gathering, which you know it, even though a very different game, it exists within the same sort of. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything about recent years from MTG. Uh, well, yeah, um, I don't think GW would send the Pinkertons after you. Sorry, what did you say, Dan? Yeah, but you get, like, you know, union busters sent after you if you misbehave. Yes, just that, yeah. Um, but, yeah, put it, putting aside Wizards of the Coast for a second, just looking at, at, at the game in isolation, um, you can't play cards from the original thing of the game because the game's moved on to yeah. a point at which, even though I'm, I'm sure you can physically play them if you want, but you can't make competitive lists using that, and lots of stuff gets disallowed. I know that much. Um, yeah. Once it reaches a certain point, whereas for forty k or even original Warhammer, you can still run original era models now. Um, some of them you're probably going to get. You know, uh, the tournament organizer might have a go. Yeah, like say if you run the original Avatar of Cain because it's tiny. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh yeah, the Pinkerton still exists. Do people not know yeah. this? The, the uh, my understanding is a private security company and yeah. a private detective company. Yeah, uh, that, that, from my understanding is they're not the s a same original company. Then the company's been like bought out and it's like a new thing. But name any they're company that's been around for a long time. So fuck yeah. off. And I can't I can't think of a, a single company that exists from. Well, that's that's not correct. How many um, companies from a hundred years ago are still the same company mm -hmm. they were then? So I don't really feel it's particularly. Oh yeah, useful. like Winchester, Cole, all the big gun companies aren't yeah. the same as they used to be in jelly. That it's just the name. They, they, names change hands and stuff, but mm -hmm. they are still around. They are still union busters, and they are still awful. And hiring them is they a are still bastards. That you are the worst. Um, mm -hmm. But anyway, my, my point was that, that yeah, um, whereas the thing with Warhammer is that you can just use the original models. You can still just put them on the table, they still work, you can still use them. Um, there's some that you might need to do some shenanigans with. You but, need to choose um, a basis, wouldn't you? I mean, uh, to some so, some of them, I mean, I do, um, yeah. for the most part. There's some I don't, like, I don't put old Terminators on a, on a 40 mil base because they get absolutely drowned in it, but I do up them to a 32. Um, yeah. Uh, and in 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 casual games, you'll never get a thing. In my experience, the only response you'll get from people by running an old an old model is someone going, "Holy shit, is that a, you know?" Uh, mm -hmm. And then have a good time. Um, although, admittedly, the last handful of games uh, I I have played are all like the most hipster bullshit because it's like me with my 
uh, rogue trader <laughs> lamenters playing against yeah. our mate who's got a second edition Eldar army, <laughs> you know. So it's uh it's bullshit. But anyway, my um I do like the tur- the return of pretty much the uh what was it, the ironclad dreadnought from ages ago? Just I am the shooty one. Oh, okay. oh no, the ironclad one's the siege one you're thinking of. Um Shit, you're right. The, the yeah, the ranged one, um because they've um Oh fuck what I can't remember what they called it. I don't care. Um but yeah it's, Ballista, it's going ballistas. That's the one. Um, but yeah, uh, if, if the legs are poseable, I think it'll be fine. Uh, they will be because it's based on the Redemptor thing. I, well, I would assume anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Because Redemptors... like in, in a picture I saw earlier, it looked kind of weird and static. The legs were just straight, and I'm like, no. Mm. But yeah, um, yeah, it's inter- it's interesting because that is just taking a conventional dreadnought build. Yeah, that's just one um, of the classic loadouts of <laughs> missile launcher. Yeah. And has, uh, uh, twin link blast cannon. Although, actually, yeah, you, yeah, you, you, um, that's that's a point, actually, yeah, because it's the start, it's in the starter box, or at okay, least that yeah. version is. So, yeah, that's that'll be a that version well. will be, but then yeah. they'll bring out one that isn't probably. Maybe it's not always a guarantee anymore. Did um, they bring out a new contemptor rather than the monopose one? I'm trying to remember now. Yeah, yeah, they did bring out a new contemptor, yeah. Uh, the modern one's much better than the old, uh, the old plastic one. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, it's going to be uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And yeah, as people mentioned, the um, we've got the uh, big box, which yeah, is going to be limited. So yeah, it's going to get scalps to shit. So you know, that's as always. Cool. Uh, one of those where I'm like, oh, I am so glad that I am nothing to do. I am, I'm not going to be buying it. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I have no plans uh, to pick that up, uh, and I am glad because oh boy, that's going to be a bitch yeah. to get hold of, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we should probably actually play the game rather than uh, spending. I mean, half I guess an hour you're playing it. the game. Yeah. I'm just here to talk shit and be grumpy. Uh, as always, mm-hmm. my birthday's over now. I can be as grumpy as I want. <laughs> Did you have a good birthday stream, by the way? I'm sorry, we were busy going to the other... Going yes, to how dare you go out and have fun? Fuck you. You're fine, dude. We went to go watch Return of the Jedi. And I sat attempting uh, and doing my best to entertain you lot for the day. <laughs> I'm going to skip over the intro because it's really fucking loud. Oh... I mean, it's a certain donation amount just to hear the Space Marine screaming, at least, so, you know. Uh, it's because uh, it's Dark Crusade that doesn't have that intro anymore. Oh! The inferior versions. Yeah, no. Okay. Just trying to get this volume about right. Can you talk at me a bit? Mm-hmm. I'll keep talking at you. I'm trying to see Big Box Sales World Scalpers or release individual sets of scalpers. Um, but yeah, okay. So we have we have a couple of choices here. We can play the try and play through a bit of a campaign. That would be hilarious. So I would do that honestly. Or we could just mess around in the skirmish mode and futz around there. Um, uh, see what chat thinks. Because like. Yeah. I'm just here. It's fine. Yeah, because obviously, I, obviously, I won't be able to get super far through the campaign because I don't know if people uh, remember this game takes a long ass time to actually play through a full campaign. Mm. Okay, I think we're going. Yeah, count the campaign. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Bring pariahs back. Oh yeah, they yeah. they just got fucking shot at them entirely, didn't they? Yep. Uh, I'm just going to put it on easy because streaming. Yeah, yeah, no um, fuck, fuck it. Going to be battering. So. The planet Cronus. The planet Cronus. Beset on all sides by the tides of war. This once quiet colony. Oh shit! I should stream tonight. I don't know. Give uh, me a second. Just, if it's no trouble, don't worry about it. Otherwise, no. refusing to ah, it's not down. difficult. I'll just let this. Each go. convinced it was in the right. 
From beneath the sands of Cronus' central desert came the Necrons. Ancient machines bent on eradicating all life. <laughs> oh, I love the little weird shuffle that the uh, flayed ones have. Yep. From the depths yep. of the war, the demonic forces of chaos arrive. Uh, no, Funky, we're not doing multiplayer. I didn't have the time to get this installed before we started streaming. This was the last minute plan because we were both like, I don't know what the fuck to do to do. It's so weird seeing uh, a crisis suits just run. Sophisticated battle suits into the fray. Yeah, I always picture them as sort of just jetting, like just doing little jet boost hops. Because, mm. you know, Gundam. Mm. Yeah. Descended on Cronus, caring little for others' claims and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar. Ancient enemies of the Necrons emerged from their webway to pursue the road. Basically, we're Cronus. just coming up with a bunch of reasons that they can all fight each other. Finest and most Turns out it's not difficult in the 40k setting. Seeing a world beset See, they're not even playing on hard mode that most players have to do, which is coming up with excuses as to why all, the, all everyone's loyalist space marine armies are fighting each other because that's the only armies anyone's got painted. Yep. And the total defeat of all others. Okay. Give me a second. We'll go very quiet for you. Do not worry. Huh? Oh, I'm telling. I'm telling everyone else. Oh. Uh, I think I might have to do the same thing I did last time, so you won't have sound. But you know. That's fine. Hello. There we go. Yeah, I wave. No one else can see this, but you. There, I see the waving. Yes. Okay, so what uh, what faction are we going to go with? I actually like uh, Shanice's idea of rolling a d8 with eight being a free choice. Mm. Yeah, all right. Have you? Have you got I'm trying to remember what the fuck a d8 looks like. Have you? Have you got um, some some dice handy? I have a bag. I have the big dice bag oh. under my desk. Excellent. Okay, you roll it then. Um, fuck does a D8 look like again? Uh, well, it's got eight sides, mate. Yeah, thanks, fucker. <laughs> got it. Okay. It's one of those ones you just, yeah, double pyramid, two pyramids, butt to butt. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Ass to ass, pooping back and forth forever. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> that is a reference to an old movie, and I don't even remember what movie it is anymore. Uh, other way, uh, potato mage, but you're close. <laughs> okay, uh, I got a one. A one? Okay, well that means we're doing chaos. There you go. You are Eliphas the Inheritor, Black Apostle oh, of, the, of the Word Bearer Legion. You serve the eldritch powers of the warp and have come to remake Cronus in the twisted image of your masters. Drive your Chaos Space Marines and demonic servants towards the enemy and make them see the futility of their ways. Chaos cannot be denied. I don't think I've What's ever it? actually done the Chaos... A Chaos... Well, this is where all your favourite quotes come from. The powers of Chaos... <laughs> chaos God bothers. Pleasant, <laughs> peninsula ...on the southern coast of Cronus, transforming it into a blasted hellscape. Summoned by heretical cultists, the Black Apostle Eliphas, the Inheritor, emerged from the war, leading a whole company of the Word Bearer Chaos Legion. These heretical space marines had been to Cronus before, fighting against their loyal brothers during the dark days of the Horus Heresy. Oh shit! Eliphas had been but a young champion then. I didn't realize there was a little Return flashback to the heresy there. Chaos Lord, like I've not done this before. So galaxy we just saw some grey word bearers. That's the Dark Crusade would be his proving ground. By defeating the many powers vying for the planet, he sought to gain favor with the dark gods he worshipped. Unless they could be stopped then and there, the word bearers would strike deeper into the Imperium. 
well, okay then. Okay, so. Welcome to the single player campaign oh, for Dawn of War, Dark Crusade. <laughs> These I'd forgotten about the incredibly boring the voiced man. <laughs> and introduce key features of this all new campaign mode. It's okay. I always forget he's there just because yeah, it's just a guy. Like it doesn't have that that fun, uh, like overly dramatic thing that most of the game mm. has. It's just like, oh, hello. I always forget he's there until he comes up. Uh, okay, so um. Yeah, so uh, for people that haven't played Dawn of War, which I guess the game's getting quite old now, so that's mm -hmm. actually the chances of that being people, more people is, is uh, actually, higher. One second. Mm -hmm. Also, I've just mm -hmm. noticed, uh, mm -hmm. apparently, we have 69 viewers. Oh my so god. No, so I'm going to stop viewing right now. <laughs> oh, and thank you. Every corn berserker uh, who was uh, just just tipped twenty five dollars. Thank you very much, blood for the blood god, indeed. <laughs> Thank you very much. There. That's very generous of you. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, well, that's really. Hope you all enjoyed Snape screaming at you, full pelt there. Uh, uh but... Dawn of War came out two thousand and six. Yeah, two thousand. Dark Crusade. That is. The game's fucking old, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let um, the purifying flame cleanse this area. Downing a two-liter Yazoo. <laughs> it's a dollar. <laughs> I'm doing what it says on the tin. Fuck my lactose intolerance. Oh. Good work. Godspeed. You, Black you Emperor. <laughs> poor person. No, I was going to say Godspeed, you poor bastard, who's going to have one <laughs> hell of an arsehole problem tomorrow. Oh. Uh. Yeah, we're actually playing a faction where the alert works. So, uh, I'm not saying that people should donate $25 whenever we go into combat, but it would be thematically appropriate. You don't have to do that. Okay, right. So, if you don't know, the way this game works is that you... You, you probably should do that, though, purely because, <laughs> one, it's thematically appropriate, and two, we're fucking poor. <laughs> it's a time existing in the UK right now. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, so you basically you have a guy... You have, you have your, your faction and you are supposed to try and take over the whole map where all the other factions are also trying to take over the map. It's risk, but with chainsaws to to really strip it yep, down sure. to a basic level. Uh, so, where do we want to go? What, what sort of direction do we want to aim at? Because there's the, there's the ore. Mm. We can kind of head towards... Like, our neighbours are the Orcs, the Necrons, or the Imperial Guard are sort of, like, the general, um, the general vibe, so. Mm. What do you, what do you reckon? The Aelin grants the powers of the Blood God, if I remember correctly, Fuzzball places. Uh, what, this one down here? No, the one on your right. I would guess. Gets a chosen champion by uh, controlling this province, you gain this bonus. You gain that unit for your commander's honor guard. Yeah. It's risk, but it doesn't take six days to finish a game. No, it takes much longer. Uh, guard, the blood god power is that region of seven power. Ah. Oh. I am blind. Ah, okay. ah, that one. Fury. So yeah, so that would actually be probably a good one to go. Yeah, no, that that sounds yeah. logical then. Okay, right. Well, we'll we'll aim that way then. While I try and remember how the game works. Oh, you'll be fine. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> the Murad a... Swamplands. It's a bit swampy. It smells like arse. Yep. Yep, yep. Swampy? Ass, in fact. Mm. It's been sweaty. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Snipe's not the one streaming. Snipe cannot complain and give a shit for her boat or the random crap we see. Look, I mean, it's certainly better than last time. Powers. With the uh, fucking. Milky no Discharge. And all that. We serve. 
right. Oh. Ricardo Montalban's chest donated seventeen dollars. It's always a word bearer sign. I did not know that about Ricardo Montalban's chest. Uh, thank you for letting us know. Uh, let me see what, what we got here. I assume we can't go up and down these bits. No, that's turned off. Yeah, I was double checking. So it's in here. Okay, so we've got a pretty. Um, and you've got a relic point. Well, oh, remember, you can also torture your builders to make them work faster because, you know, you're chaos. Forced labor. Uh, two is different. Ah, so he takes damage. But that's, yeah. that's fine. I didn't always like all the buildings. Oh, you know, it's you know, it's a word bearers fan. It donated their legions, uh, num uh, legions number amount of dollars. Shit, I didn't even notice that. Good work. Good I work. always forget the legion numbers. Yeah. I, I think the ultramarines are thirteen, which is very interesting to me. They are, and the dark angels are number one. First. And... Space wolves are like the sixth. Seven? I don't remember now. And uh, Alpha Legion of the Twentieth. I don't. I, yes. I, I, I have a bad memory for these things. So. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh yeah, I need to fucking do power, don't I? That's that's how this game works. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Master. Let me go look up the Legion numbers. <laughs> I just built some space marines. No, I don't want Space Marine fandom or the 40k fandom, thank you very much. I just thought Warpath would look neat with uh, bunny ears. You know, actually, I think it, it, that would actually suit him. Yes, actually, yeah. Wherever you wish. Oh, right, got it. It is ours for the gifts. And everything on my computer explodes at once, you know, usual. Uh, first, Dark Angels. Second, Unknown. Third, Emperor's Children. Fifth, Iron Warriors. Uh, sorry, fourth, Iron Warriors. Fifth, White Scars. Sixth, Space Wolves. I remembered that. Uh, seventh, Imperial Fists. Eighth, Night Lords. Ninth, Blood Angels. Tenth, Iron Hands. Eleventh, Unknown. Uh, twelfth, World Eaters. Thirteenth, Ultramarines. Fourteenth, Death Guard. Thousand Sons of the 15th, Sons of Horus for the 16th, 17th the Word Bearers, 18th Salamanders, 19th Raven Guard, and the 20th as the Alpha Legion. But of course, Master. It is just one of those things that, like, some of some parts of some of them you occasionally remember, but some of them it's just like, yeah, no, that's just gone. Oh yeah, no, I, 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 I used to take pride in being a fucking encyclopedia knowledge of all this shit. I just don't anymore. This is this is fair. This is fair. You don't need to have encyclope encyclopedic knowledge of absolutely fucking everything um, in a given franchise to be a fan of it. What matters is your enjoyment of the thing. Oh, well. My lord. Let's get the approximate sizes of a few of the legions at the start of the Hedessy have been given in various sources. I think the Ultramarines, yeah, the Ultramarines are still the largest with 250,000 yes, Astartes. It should also be noted that we some of them are inconsistent as well. Chaos. Oh, yeah. We're here for the Dark Gods. Oh, Thank he's you. here for the Dark Gods. Thank you, Master. Who would have thought it? Yeah. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Mm. Buzzball, that's exactly the sort of reason that I, I spend time saying to people now, yeah, just enjoy the thing to be a fan. Don't fucking spend all your time making yourself miserable trying to remember all these random facts. It's not worth it, and it's not enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very easy to get kind of suckered in and, mm -hmm. like, whatever you desire. That there's some kind of fucking purity wish. test nonsense to, yeah. like, yes. Yes. to build. Yes, yes, right yeah. away. Uh, well, the armory. 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 Oh god, that's gonna be stuck in my head now. Thanks. My favorite armory. My favorite cover of uh, the song "Battery" 
is the song Bitter End by Sum 41. My life is forfeit. Ah, yeah. It is the same song. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, don't make me build more generators. That involves me building more generators. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. Because that involves me doing stuff. Uh, no, uh, Ricardo, I'm also not saying that, like, yeah, uh, being an encyclopedia is a bad thing. I'm just saying you don't have to be. Yeah. Because it's sort of shitty expectation that a lot of people have that you need to know everything about everything. Yeah, I, it's like I, I often um, feel kind of, a, you know, the, the, the pressure My with, life is you know, perfect. what we do and everything that I'm supposed to know everything all the time. Mm -hmm. And, like, I don't. Like, I just yeah. I simply don't. I... <laughs> Do you have more? How many builders have you got? Two. Yeah. Okay. Not to minimise your issue. Yeah. At your command. Ah, good. Someone's already put the old dreadnought, uh, or the new dreadnought, on old dreadnought legs. <laughs> good. It's adorable. I will post it in chat. Good. I always liked how, like, a uh, having. Um, Aspiring champions in uh, in squads of cultists. Mm. Yes, Lord. Oh, I should actually send it over to you as well, so you know you could look at it later and go, "Oh yes, sensible chortle." Yes, Strem. I don't know how strong the opponents are going to be on this map. Mm. Probably not very, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, no, there's, there's, um, because, like, you know, especially if, like, you know, uh, us hanging around with, like, Rem and Tack, who are both, like, outrageous. Oh, yeah, no, I wish I could store knowledge in my brain as much as they do, it's insane. Oh, but we discovered it's Imperial Guard we're fighting. Hmm. We will serve you, and in return, grant us the power of the Dark Gods. Okay. Uh... I'll talk. Let's let's get ourselves some. We'll get ourselves some corn berserkers going. Sorry, some what? Corn berserkers. Sorry, what? You don't remember their shout, do you? No, no. <laughs> okay. I I I've, I've barely played Chaos in this game. I realize this only started it like I've uh do, do they yell in a particular way, I'm assuming. If memory serves they do. I'm probably wrong, fuck knows. We'll all find out soon enough together. <laughs> Sanity has fallen. The weak fight back! Oh, bless us, great one! Stop putting down some uh, defenses and then we can start uh, probing. It's funny when they just keep sending their, uh, like, leader you know, at you over yeah. and over again. Circle, uh, which is the. That was an HQ add on, right? Possibly. <laughs> Again, it's been a while. And yeah, I, I, I'm realizing how little I uh, I actually played. Um... Coas. Coas. Oh, or Chaus. 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 Got that from a uh, loading ready run uh, years ago. They they made the joke about um, you, calling chaos chows to uh, to annoy the hardcore people. Good, good. That is the correct uh, the correct course of action. I feel. We're here for the dark gods. And you do have to say it like chows. Chows. We serve. Okay. My Lord. These fuckers upgraded. My lord. Hey, this seems like a good time to remind everyone. Web was in a well-known 40k uh, YouTube uh, cartoon series thing about Bob. The chaos gods speak clearly now. 
Yes. Just saying. I mean, for fuck's sake, you played Obi Wan Shell, so I have like, played come Obi on. Obi Wan Shell. Of course, we do your bidding. I, I, I have indeed done the thing. <laughs> It is sometimes it's okay, you can call TTS a puppet show. Kinda was actually, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Master. Let's do that. Alright, can we do it now? There yes, we go. Yes, Webb was also one half of a uh, Phantom Titan. Yes. Oh, I think that was the two, the two things I played. Um, yeah, it's fucking drummer Matt was in it as well. Yeah, because I, I have recorded, uh, I, I did record some other stuff, but that was like for use. Uh, it never ended up getting used because it was, you know, towards the end. Mm -hmm. Which was a pity, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I had a um, brief conversation about a character and doing some audition stuff for one that just never came about as well for that reason. Yeah. As you wish, but set us loose. My favourite thing about 40k from Loading Ready Run is Cameron's description. Hello? Explanation to fly the last gun is a logician's dream weapon. Yeah. Cameron, almost always fucking right. Hi. Web. Okay, I think that your, your thing cut out and then all caught up at once. Oh, we're doing that, are we? Good, good, good. Yeah, I've good. not had it. I've not had that happen a long time. Yep. Okay. Let me check every fucking gaming app thing in my bob. Uh, Machine pit. Machine pit. I think uh, I am going very, very more than I actually need to because I imagine I could probably just probably I can probably just bum rush them with what I've got now and they'll probably be a far. I'll probably be fine. Oh, let's let's have a look. Let's yes. see how the corn berserkers are doing. Yep, yep, they they. Mm, yep. Does he do a stupid show? I am not your bootleg. I am not your bootleg. Ah, uh, they've got more than that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure one of them is them just literally screaming corn berserkers. Why aren't we killing it? By corn, it will be done. This is the last time. Maybe it's when they go when you uh, get them to attack people. Yeah. Although one of them is just going, nah, 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 yep, yep. Why aren't we killing it? Why aren't we killing and yes, it? Snipe played uh, Silent Matilda and Celestine. Mm. As you wish, but set us loose. Uh, ah, let's, let's have a defiler. I always loved a defiler. It's such a weird thing. I dig it though. Okay, right. We'll build. We'll um. We'll get the uh, defiler up and running, and then we'll we'll go and see how they're doing. We'll go. We'll go see how the enemies. Uh... Mm. This is the last time. Yeah. Do uh, you Wibble. Hear the too? Sanity uh, is for the weak. Sanity if is you can for hear the weak. me. We're hey. here for the dark gods. Uh, I would cut off the stream to me because I, I think the internet is having a time with it. What? On on. Is it is it getting buffery? It's getting buffery on my end. Well, d d your stream to me through Discord is getting a bit weird, and sometimes you're cutting in and out as well. So I think it's just yeah. Uh, it might be yeah, Discord having an issue. Yeah. Okay. So just kill that off and enjoy the uh, tiny stumpy leg dread, don't. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a fucking the, the short leg and variant of the Rogue the Trader powers. ones. Mhm. Mm Let's build a thermo power yes, generator. I always yes, forget those are a thing. Because obviously not every map has the thing. Well, I think most maps have the thing for him, but. There we go. Long, long, long. Weird little crab demon machine. Crab demon artillery machine, also. Yeah, no, they're kind of ridiculous. <laughs> we put artillery in its chest, like a like, battle cannon in its chest. You know, as a joke. <laughs> Thank you, Reth uh, Rethius, for the sub. Thank you very much. Four months that. streak. Thank you very much. Okay, right. Let's save, and then let's uh, let's let's take this little army we've built, and we'll see where the. Uh, what do you want? Or at least we'll take some of them anyway. 
What? Actually, let's pop, uh, let's pop him in the squad so we don't have to worry. Show me the enemy. Well, actually, I should pop him in Go a. And spread the I should pop him in a Berserker squad, shouldn't I? Because he's a melee guy primarily. Probably. Okay. Um, that was a Kung Pao reference. I want you to know that I appreciate it. It kind of was, but kind of wasn't. It was something someone said in one of my streams the other day, and it's just stuck in my head now. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Oh, hello. They were all just out of shot. <laughs> yeah, that seems a bit right. Oh, you, you were not kidding. Holy shit, I just got the, the stream to catch up to where you were. Oh, yeah, no. Get rid of the vehicles, because... <laughs> oh, the, the the Imperial Guard Psyker's the best. Witness your doom. Yeah, run away, run away. Come on. Well, my uh, my cultists are all dead, but I think that's all the. That's just how it goes. Okay. I love how the combat in Dawn of War always somehow looks like a shrimp feeding frenzy. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit of a mess. See, I'm of the... Oh, oh, sorry, on you go. I should probably uh, have a bit better, um, like, anti-vehicle uh, and stuff, because I am a little... Yeah, you should probably get some Havoc yeah. Um well, we found the base, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just suddenly remembering that I think it was, like, me and Alpha Fuso were, like, the two weirdos who were, like, I kind of preferred Don War 2. <laughs> Oh, that just came back into my brain with such clear focus there, and uh, I, I await everyone's cancel uh, cancellations of me. <laughs> you see, I don't mind uh, Dawn of War 2, but it's a very different game. I prefer the smaller focus. I get that. I get that. <laughs> the reason the word bearer is sent to call cultists the ablatives. <laughs> <laughs> I destroyed the HQ, I did it. Good. I, I did the thing. Good. I got war gear for a 3 to 1 kill ratio. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so you can have, so we can pick a thing. So like, the Man Reaper. Uh, Accursed Crozians, I can't have that yet. Uh, plasma Pistol. The hell well, of hey, Man Morgoth. Reaper, that's literally a Death Guard size, I just realised, yeah. Yep. Uh, demonic armour. I, I did always like how it was represented on the... Uh... On the character, yeah. Yeah. Like, you can just give him, give him fancy booties. Banner mm. of Chaos. Demonic <laughs> Ascension. Oh, I didn't... Oh, cool, I didn't realise you could follow on and just make him into a demon oh. prince. Yeah, no, neither did I. Yeah, that's right. You just have to get all the other war gear. Huh. Again, again, I've not played through with this guy uh, with uh, on on chaos before, so mm -hmm. you know. Curse you! I'm reinstalling Dawn of War. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, we're playing Dark Crusade, by the way. Uh, and thank you, Hans, for the resub. Uh, thank you very much. Fifty-eight months. Thank you. And thank you, Chambers. Thank you for eleven months. Thank you very much. Nearly a year. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, for people uh, that. Uh, that uh, you know, because obviously we've got a few more viewers than we normally do. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, if if you sub, you get that cute little uh, squishmallow next to your name, mm -hmm. which I think is very good. And they change colours as you go. Yep. And, it only and you know, you also get like emotes like the classic "It's fine," <laughs> which <laughs> is just useful everywhere. Yeah, need to add some more, uh, mm. some more emotes really. Uh, anyway, I think I'm probably going to give him the Man Reaper, because it's funny. Yeah. 
I do want you to know you are the uh, number one Don of War streamer right now. Yes, number one, number one. I'm not going to give you the rest of the information. I just want you to be happy. Is there like two people streaming it? There are three people streaming. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know, one out of three ain't bad. Hmm. Well, you have two gear choices, apparently. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I got the other one from... Um... No, we'll uh, what else? So we, uh, yeah, that means I can upgrade to an even better one so I can have the Accursed Crozius, which is fucking absurd. <laughs> How big it is. Yeah. Or you uh, give him a silly helmet. You know what? I think, I think we might have to give him a silly helmet. Mm. Yeah, let's give him a silly hat. Uh, do we want an honor guard yet? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Why not? Uh, and then, yeah, we end turn. <laughs> this was a really interesting idea in this game to make the you know the campaign work like this yeah yeah absolutely oh Rethius, this is an easy difficulty we're just gonna sit and have a chat so oh don't yeah wanna... yeah yeah we don't want to be like all fucking annoyed and not listening to each other because one of us is like fucking holding on for dear life And also, and I think this is important, uh, I am bad at video games. Um, yep, same, same. <laughs> especially these, I love real-time strategy games, but I have never been good at them. <laughs> One day I'll teach you a Total War game. I've tried, I've, tr I've tried. I, I sort of, like, the last time I did, I did sort of, I cracked the thing about understanding how what I'm doing, you know? Mm-hmm. And then I discovered, ah, I just don't think these are for me. Hmm. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm not going to lie. When I saw the name of the, co the the area you're going to next, the Mariah Coast, I thought it said the Morris Coast for a second, and I was about to get, uh, like, <laughs> there's been too many Morris things lately. Yep. Uh, you know, I still, I still remember. Uh, Rockhead, neither me or Web have any sort of nostalgia or like prior knowledge of Command and Conquer. It's like just not our thing. I, I played Tiberium Sun a bit. There you go. <laughs> that's that's my complete expert. I, I've, I, yeah, I've never, I, I've played it a, a few bits of Command and Conquer. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Command and Conquer is my least favourite 40k game. We are <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Thank you, so chaos with your attention. Okay, so this is all blocked off. So yeah, we've we just got oh, one in thing and then some stuff on down here. Yeah, okay. Rocket. Um, uh, your counterpoint's fine, but we're what still not going to play it. <laughs> we have it now. Just never appealed to me. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just one I just don't have a connection yes, to at all. Yes, we yeah. will work faster. Do not trifle with me, world. Do you call me a worm? worm? What a rude man! What a it's, rude uh, man! It's like, it's like StarCraft. It never appealed to me either. Just thought of that. Yeah, yeah. It does. It's it's um. It, it's it's a bit like uh, the Resident Evil series for me, where it's something I don't have. <laughs> like I, d I don't have like a strong feeling about. Yeah. Um, I just don't care about it. And it's just never really appealed to me. So. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say anything about the quality of the game. It's just. My lord. On our way. The path to ruin. The path to ruin. Now what? My life is forfeit. Also need to remember in like the StarCraft and um CNC era and stuff, I didn't have a PC. So mm. We will build it for you. As I said before, I, I was uh I was way more of a uh, total annihilation guy. So mm -hmm. My Lord 
played the shit out of Total Annihilation and Total Annihilation. Because Kingdoms. you're a nerd. Whatever you desire. Could be worse. I could say I'm like a Dark Rain guy. Oh I god, that name rings will. a bell, and it feels like it's I like a walked away memory. I, d I don't know how many people will remember Dark Rain. <laughs> It was it was really cool because it was one of the first I think it was the first game I ever played where it was possible to like click on a guy and then you could just go to their perspective so you could get down on the uh, oh god on the actual uh, level of them which mm -hmm. I was really liked because it was obviously quite a novelty at that point. Um, I should capture some of this shit down here. Does Starcraft I? even have uh, does Starcraft even have lore? Yes, it does. Oh yeah, shitloads. Oh, oh, hello. We're dealing with Necrons. Good. Have fun. Well, it's quite funny seeing just some cultists and then a Necron Lord running away from them. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not sure that's how that would work. Uh, where the fuck do I put my guys? My life is forfeit. We will build it for you. Um, um, Chaos Space Marines. I, I appreciate you, you, the hook but, there? like, you maybe not want to just chase the enemies halfway across Oh, the love it when they do that. They captured it for chaos. Whatever you desire. <laughs> yes, yes, we will work faster. What's up, darling? Okay. The weak fight back! Sorry? Oh, sorry. Oh no, I'm... I'm being attacked by a, a Necron Lord. Wait, those, he'll get resurrected right there again, because that's how that works, isn't it? Possibly. Oh, well, I guess I'm just going to go and set Eliphas on his fucking face. Good, good. Then he'll be too uh, embarrassed to resurrect. Hello, Snipe. I hope you all are having fun with all the Warhammer Fest stuff. Yes, Lord. I don't know. I mean, I, I went there a day early just because I'm cool with everyone here. Just saying. It was it was fucking packed though on Friday <laughs> for some reason. You right, I, Janus, I I lived off RTS for a while and I got it. Oh god, right. that was one of the 40k ones. Rights of War is the uh, Eldar, the Eldar based. Um, oh, that's why I didn't. Turn based I, I don't know anything about it because it's Eldar and they're what the one is here, so. And the so um, <laughs> being fully loud footstep sounds. Yeah, it's the one with the painful loud footsteps. Oh god! <laughs> wow, that Lord fucking ate it. We need enemies. Returned yes, only master. briefly, Drew. <laughs> Snipers resting, they had surgery recently. Maybe draw a picture. Yeah, draw a picture. That'd be great. I've been wanting to for months, and I just have not been able to manage it. Oh my god. This Snipe, is draw an arse. There's that one I did on the um, Loyalist the Space Marine campaign, where it gets to a certain part at the top of the board, and I can't remember what it was. But it was like, oh, suddenly there's a big tunnel system. Oh, this is a great one. And that's when I never Thank played you. it again. Because uh, I was like, start. fuck this. I'm going to go play a game that isn't kicking me in the fucking kidneys. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Okay, bye. Come on. Bye. So I, was, I just thought I'd build a turret right next to the, ne the Necron Lord. Oh, um, <laughs> Good. Maybe several. Thank you for the follow there, Marcus the Thief. Ah, thank you. Um, yeah, I, re I realized I just uh, hadn't bothered my power with my power at all there. Because mm. I, I was like, oh yeah, I'll build a, um, 
a plasma Haven't you generator. Got a node for one of the fancy plasma things? Yeah, I've got one up here, and I just for and I was like, oh yeah, I'll build one of those when I can, and then just in my brain had just forgotten that that I, I still had to like you know do all the shit to acquire that. Mm -hmm. So I've just been really low on power and just not noticing. But, Bless us, great no, one. But we shall deal with this master. now. Yes. I am going to... Holy shit, okay, I've just realised the time already. Fucking hell. That, we started late, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fucked me up there. Um, I'll be back in two seconds. I'm going to go and have a cigarette. No worries, my friend. Be right back. Do you hear the voices? The objective is not lost on us. We're here for the dark gods. Okay, we'll get that built. So we can build more fun shenanigans. Come on, there we go. This is indeed Dark Crusade. Or to put it another way, the best one. No, I am out, anyway. <laughs> Anything for the great powers. Excellent, okay. Right now we can build the Ooh, the shit. Great one. We serve. I feel the warp overtaking me. It is a good pain. It is a good pain. Everything is coming along. Well, I imagine I'm going to get absolutely um, stomped in a second by a million uh, Necrons, so that's going to be fun. Is that built yet? No. Whatever you we'll desire. deal with you in a second. Got some horrors. It's always nice to have some horrors, isn't it? <laughs> you okay there, dear? Huh? You okay there, dear? Yeah, call off like a dick. <laughs> he made me he made me ugly laugh. He's not here. He just sent me a text so draw a butt. <laughs> just caught me off guard. Good. Feel the warp overtaking me. It itches a little. Yeah, you should get it seen to, really. We are taking fire! We're taking fire? Oh, oh, that, the, the Lord came back. And, um, yeah, it was a little embarrassing. Um, We're here for the dark gods. You can't build on those, can you? Yeah, those are the ones you can't build on. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you, Master. For the slaughter! For the slaughter. Bless us, Great One. Uh, right, let's Thank you. Get some vehicles Thank on the go. You, Master. Fight on! It will be done! Ba -ba. Don't provoke me! Don't, we won't provoke him. Why aren't we killing yet? Snipe has seen the goopy Tyranid spike. Don't you worry. I am not your boat leg. What you know that uh, by streaming this, I am now installing Dark Crusade from physical media. <laughs> oh, nice. I do still have my physical disc for this, although this is the Steam release that I'm, I'm playing on right now. Sanity is for uh, the weak. On Holy Monastery, I need for the enemies. plasma guns. Okay. We need enemies. But yeah. Uh... Possessed squad. We are taking fire. Is it him? Yeah, it's him again. Oh. 
What was that big pop? Oh. I can't do it again now. I'm unconscious. Okay. No. <laughs> um. You're smacking your lips. Okay. Uh, don't tell me I don't have the resources. I want them. Chaos Raptors ready to kill. Alright, okay. What would you have us do? We shall Look at him go! Look at him go! Fly against the enemy! Anything for the great powers. Uh, okay, okay. I guess we just need to get shit upgraded then. The okay. weak fight back. Let's look at the old metal raptors. There, there is something kind of cute about them. Very, they have a very particular look that the newer ones, uh, the newer ones lack. We saw our wings of fire. How much is that? 200 silver is actually quite expensive. Okay. I guess I could go and like capture a bunch of shit. Because that would be the sensible thing to do. My life is forfeit. Uh, do I have anything else? Okay, I need to do that. Alright. Okay. I return. You return? Yes. You made Snack do a chortle, by the way. Oh, I saw, don't worry. Oh yeah, I forgot that you like teleport demons in. Like, bloop. yep. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you silly fox. You can act. There's green. the boys. Okay. Uh, we need. If maybe if you can actually tilt the camera as well. By the way, I don't know uh, you how you do. Can. I forget how you do it off hand. Is it holding in the middle mouse button? Hmm. Let's alt. There we go. Then we can look around. Well, I can't remember how you default it, so you know. Hmm. Uh, I wanted to ask, uh, since it's at Comic Con, where do I post cosplay pics? Uh, do we have a photo tab? Do you mean on the Discord? I'd put it in. Uh, oh, mm -hmm, There's like mm. the general arts and Yeah, general thing. chat would do. Yeah. Yeah, you can post. a possessed squad because that's fun, isn't it? Hell yeah. Oh, is he all possessed as well? Mm. Good old worm head. <laughs> and I feel like um, maybe have a little bit of a probe and see where the enemy actually is. Oh, a probe. Yeah. <laughs> we be probing. Robin time. Yep. <sighs> we are filled with the power of chaos. The true power is here. Just take us into the thick of it. You know, it's been funny because I've been um, I've been um, painting a uh, rogue trader predator recently. Yes. And I, I realise that I, I think, because um, like I obviously I, I, I do like I do, I do like me uh, me rogue trader fix. Yes, you do. Um, but I realise that's what that, that's one uh, where I do actually just legitimately like the original Predator better than all the modern ones. I think there's a place for both personally, but I totally get it. And I think I think it's because of the bigger the um, more um, aggressive slope on the front of the Mark One Rhino. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And when if there is one weakness of the Predator, it's that it's based on a Rhino chassis at all times, and thus 
you you know, uh, it doesn't maybe look as main battle tank as it should. Yeah. I can't remember what the demon pit even does. Is that the thing that summons the uh, demon prince? Possibly. Or a bloodthirster. Ah, it makes obliterator squads. Uh, oh yeah, the bloodthirster. That's what. Yeah, because on the on the original build of the game, you couldn't make a demon prince. Because I remember, because I made a mod to do it. <laughs> of course you did. Oh, I've actually hit the unit. Um, oh. Okay, right. Well, let's um, let's take one of my uh, thingy squads then. Oh yeah, ex -cal. Like, we're not going to get into how silly it is that they just put a tank turret on an, on a, an APC chassis because it's fucking forty k. Who cares? Um, but it does lead it to have that sort of tank transport. But just with a turret slapped on top look that kinda hurts it at times. Hmm. That is the way to hell. Uh personally I like thinking of the, the old Rogue Trader one. And, and kind of it is kind of canon now, I guess. Uh as much as things can be canon in 40k. That the uh old Rogue Trader style predator is just either a heresy era one or a different pattern. I mean it's functioning is because they uh, made uh the thing that is based on the uh, road trailer. Mm -hmm. so it's a era. Yep. I just like thinking of it as a different STC pattern because that just makes sense in my head. Of course. Yeah. You, you inspire them so that I can uh, find exactly where the base is. Chaos is our master. Easy, no problems in at all. Chaos is our master. Chaos, consume us. If that makes a predator less of a tank and more of a technical, I, I am always behind uh, pushing oh God. the boundaries of what could, what is considered a technical. Okay, this is just I mean, a dead or, or, um, end. Or are space marine attack bikes a technical? We do your bidding. I'd say I, I'd say they should count. Yeah, I, I would I would say on those ones. Yeah, that would count. The, uh, the one case where I prefer the modern one is the Vindicator. Ah, uh, Web, you may have thoughts on that. Yeah, well, I mean, because the original Vindicator Chaos was just a conversion, so... Yeah. Are we, is this actually where your base is, or is this just where you've built some shit? Yeah, you'll find out. I'm going to be honest, when I think of the Vindicator, I think of the old metal kit um, that he used to buy, so I had to go and double check a photo of it there. Um, I do like that the, the modern kit does have the little uh, like rear bit that has a loader or something on it. That's just kind of cute. I, I, I do I, I do prefer the... Um, I, I, I think they, they're just fucking around up here. They're not actually... Uh, yeah. This is not where their base is. Okay. Take okay. us to battle. Of course. Yeah, first of all, that's the one I mean, the metal conversion kit for the original Rhino, yeah. Of course. yeah. Um, however, there was also a... Was, was it a Wave Bluff article or something? Yeah. Because, it, yeah, it was old. Because, yeah, the first edition one is just a conversion that you have mm -hmm. instructions on how to do. No. They can, they can be up there whilst you say, Yeah, the, 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 um, the big armoured fucking prow thing at the front of the Vindicator is kind of what makes it, I feel, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. What do the obliterators look like? And this, oh, that fucking big. Oh, the, the Lord has been slowly making his way back home and he's getting like a foot. <laughs> Jesus. Further each time. That's like. fucked up. <laughs> like, he's being treated with such disrespect, he's currently being we guarded by fucking cultists. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Web. Wow. Which is just pure disrespect. Mm hmm. Shenanigans we got. We can build. Now, personal teleporters? Yeah, sure. Ooh. Fuck it. Let's prepare a bloodthirster. Okay, we'll 
get our vehicles on, and then we'll uh, we'll go and find whatever fucking nonsense the uh, the enemies are doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, now that I'm looking at all the stuff, kicking about on um, like Games Workshop site and stuff, I do think that the Heresy era Astartes have a better uh, aesthetic for ta main main battle tanks because they look different from a Rhino chassis <laughs> more than anything. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Uh, first of all, I, I, when you say uh, I'll, be, I'll talk which Vindicator I was talking about, uh, I, I mentioned like three different Vindicators, so. Uh... Uh, we are taking fire. Hold on. I'll check. Because uh, the one you posted is yes, that's the original one, the original conversion, mm. uh, which I have built my own version of. Yeah, <laughs> that's I am, that's uh, not the metal one. That's just the one you bodged up. Yeah, uh, it's actually a, a weirdly complex um, conversion as well. It looks it. Oh, I can only have two predators. I didn't realize that. Huh. Interesting. Oh, and I had the possessed. Forgot I built the possessed. Yeah, let's see, Worm Boy. Is the only true answer. He's free from his string and found a body. The there you go. Enjoying Worm Boy. Very much. God, he was possessed for so fucking dumb looking. <laughs> <laughs> it is as though a thousand mouths cry out in pain. Don't think there are blood letters in this one. In Dawn of War, yeah, there was, wasn't there? Uh, no blood letters. No blood letters, sorry, I was thinking bloodthirst third there, sorry. Yeah, no, there aren't blood letters in this. Uh, although bloodthirster, I am, I have nearly built one. <laughs> mm, good, good. Okay, I'm assuming they're probably over on the opposite end to me. But, uh, I assume is where they actually are. So we'll, uh, we'll go and say hello in a moment. Uh, if there were blood letters in this game, it would be... Oh, God, I'm trying to remember which mini it would be. It would have been one of the metal ones, wouldn't it? Oh, oh yeah. Great one. We are under attack! Did I? Whatever you desire. Sorry, I, I just saw Shane saying blood for the blood blood, and that's now stuck in my head. Blood for the blood blood. Yeah, this, that would be a second dead blood, uh, blood letters, I guess. Um, well, I mean, because the Blood Letter models originally came from fantasy, so I don't. That's yeah, so it gets a bit more complicated when you're talking about this. Yes, that is true. Okay. Uh, Four defilers seems like the right amount of defilers, right? Yep. Yep, yep, that's fine. Mm -hmm. That's a totally normal force organization yep. chart you've created. Yep, 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 yep. Different versions. Oh, 2002 was the era where they had uh, the big axes and kind of just looked like uh, weird uh, goat demons. Oh, yeah, because they wouldn't have had the... They, wouldn't have had they the didn't have the big head yet. Yeah, well, they did because that's an old, that's based on an old model of them. But, oh, that was um, from a previous one then, right? But yeah, then they went to a bit more of a conventional, uh, like, demon-looking thing for a while. Yeah. Okay. Just... Oh, yeah, because the fucking... The original ones are weird lanky fuckers. God, I forgot about those. <laughs> enemies. We need enemies. Right. Let's just send everyone over My there and we'll see what they find. Your disposal. Mm. It'll be fine. It'll probably be fine. I mean, what's the worst case scenario? They find necrons. Oh no, you're welcome. There we go, that's those are the OG OG blood letters. Hmm. They're weird, their spines are a thing that exists. <laughs> yeah, no, we've all got scoliosis, it's fine. Oh yeah. Well, oh, hey, the Lord can actually come back to life for a little bit <laughs> now. Man, it's weird seeing the fucking Tomb Spider again. I bought one of those, like, years ago, because I 
at one point wanted to start an echo and armor group. And then I never put it together because it was an all metal figure and it looked like it would be a fucking nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I, I like I used to fucking hate um, dealing with all metal figures, but I've sort of just I've become numb to it now. Mm -hmm. I realise I'm sending them up here, but I don't actually know that this is definitely where they are. Yeah. Okay, Rich, using the uh, gargoyle from Hero Quest as a blood, uh, bloodthirster proxy is entirely correct. They're not even up here. <sighs> the chaos gods speak. This is a gargoyle to sit on abomination. Is the way to hell. Ah, uh, Bard. Chaos is our okay, master. yeah, right, right, I can't, okay. We must. Okay, I guess they're up here then. Okay. You doing okay there, buddy? Yep, 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 yep. It's all fine. Uh, the Chaos Lord is uh, trying to have a fist fight with a predator and a defiler. I feel the warp overtaking me. Good, good. He has not gone well. darker powers. Messily select everything, get it going back in the vague right direction. Is that, a, is that a conversion of a chaos treadnought, or did they actually make that? Hmm. Huh. You know your fucking dumpy weird dreadnoughts from Rogue Trader. Did they make a chaos version of that? They did indeed. Okay, it's, that's uh, fine. It's, like, it, 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 it's very um, HR oh, Giga. It's, the... it's it's what? Sorry. Very HR Giga. Yes. Uh, does it have a deck? Yes. Okay, oh, no, not that's not a, a, a legit mini then. Okay. okay, it's not supposed to. It's a dick. Let's not kid ourselves. I'm summoning a bloodthirster out of impatience. Good, good, carry on. Okay, I reckon they're actually up here. Stinger, tail, it's a dick. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it's supposed to be built the other way around, but uh, no one ever did, it seems. <laughs> Even better. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's actual stuff to oh, destroy. Oh, yeah, um, as, uh, as Cole just said, uh, it may be Control-A uh, would select your entire army. Uh, I, this uh, game does not have um, normal keybase. Because, yeah, normally it would be a lot of games. Although, I think um, the way this one works is that you can set up binds for things because you can only select some of the things at once. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember from the Codex Compound video, Web seemed to have, uh, sorry, Snipe seemed to have a lot of fun if you It looks like a P cut, cut to next scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, stuff of legends. Oh, There's like a good website. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized that everyone just like casually walked past where the base actually is. Oh, yep, yep, that'll happen. It was, it was right here. You need to babysit your morons. Yep. Sanity Come on, everybody. Is for the weak. Where, where did the blood... Okay, the bloodthirster did, did manage to... Yeah, uh, Mordial, thank you for the... the, the the link there. Um, me and Webb have talked about this before, I think, but uh, if ever you're looking for any sort of reference on old models, uh, Stuff of Legends is the fucking best. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's fucking... just scans of catalogs. Yeah, no, uh, I I, uh, I use that uh, website, like, when I'm making videos, uh, that website is used several times a day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, in the second edition rulebook, it's got the tail up front. Yeah, t to be fair, it can be built either way. Uh, if I remember correctly, the original like demonstrations of it always had it out back, but everyone just seems to build it. Dick out. And yep. you know what? I can't blame them. Dick in the wind. Yep. Okay, well, we have taken over our second uh, second area. Congratulations. Uh, I one step really... closer to that one that's the number seven. Yep, we'll get that. 
Okay. We shall save. So this is what I meant about, like, this, uh, it, it takes a long time to, to play through, like, a full campaign. Yeah. Right, we'll grab seven, and then we can, and then if we can, then we can, uh, move towards, um, trying to do one of the actual missions to take over it, like a, uh, faction if we want. Uh, Company Master 97, yeah, we've seen, we've seen the reveal so far. Yes. We, uh... We, yeah, we talked we'll talk about, about them earlier. Yeah, we talked for a while, like for half an hour at the start of the stream in the third one. No, webs. I love all the just the yells that happen during this phase. Yep. Okay, do we want to take seven or do we want to actually just just say fuck it and try and kill the Imperial Guard? Just get rid of them and then we can take oh, seven. Oh, I mean, afterwards. if they're there. Because we can take out their main thing, you know. Uh, I know. We're going to be going for, for, uh, for an hour and a half, so I'm thinking maybe seven, and then we'll move around and take ten. Yeah, okay. Because then that gives us the fury bonus, so. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. Which means you can do two attacks per turn, so. I did save it, yes. It was during the Horus Heresy Text. that the influence of chaos hey. first drove Space Marine against Space Marine. Oh, Mickey. Cycles through idle units, PD cycles through builders, control plus number, assigned selections to group, tab cycles through primary selections. In the desert, it's kind of funny how a lot of older 40k games uh, kind of paid with the world. Uh, the word Vader just being Cornet, like the Chaos Lord and Chaos Gate, and corn symbols on him, just by being the word Vader, not world leader. Uh, that's because they both share near enough the same color scheme of thing, and people get confused. Yeah. Also, word Vader's a Chaos Undivided, so you could have random warbands that are more into corn than they are into other yeah. Even the warriors of the Imperium ended up feeding the fiend as they fought across the battlefield. seeing the new marines to prevent uh, others uh, from claiming this prize. Not. Yeah, fair. The faithful tried to ignore the whispers. Terminator the librarian did look good. Their minds. But every death still fed its dark appetite. This guy still not talking. Being employed sorcerers. Whoever yeah, controlled on the the still employ sorcerers. Would gain a measure of the demon's fury, allowing them to launch attack. After attack against their enemies. Sorry, was I interrupting everything? Oh, the, the, the guy, the guy was was chatting shit, but it's fine. Oh, I apologize. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we we just took a second there before the it loaded. Oh, good. You know that 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 lovely moment where you think everything's about to fucking crash. <laughs> oh, uh, we've got a really complex objective here. Kill everything. Slaughter the Necrons. Okay. We I'll try. Uh, I will try. Oh, yeah, he can't do that. I remember when GW dropped the Mark of Chaos Undivided and people in the forums lost their shit about uh, how Undivided isn't a fifth religion. <laughs> yeah, but you, in terms of pure gameplay, you needed to give Undivided armies something to make them as cool as... You know, serve, divided armies. We hold it now. I, again, I, I feel where it, it's one of those cases where um, we will build it for you. Where it suffers from the fact that um, you know, 40k is both a game that requires balance uh, and a fictional world, and fictional worlds don't ne necessitate balance. So you know, the location will be our whole thing. Mark and Chaos Invaders is, 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 is in 4th edition fantasy. That's fine, Mazu. I think Cole was maybe deferring to 40k or something. I don't know. Or it was just people on forums being dicks because the Mark of Chaos Undivided just existed. That's also possible. Oh, yeah. It's just, something be it having canonical precedence has never stopped the uh, Warhammer fandom from making oh, yeah. a big fucking deal of all Oh, yeah. Beware! Yes, Lord. Yes, cough. Anything master. to do with Necrons. Cough. Matt Ward. Cough. Hmm. Um. Let's get 
you building? Ah, come on, quickly, capture it, you dick. We have yes. captured yes. a location. We will work faster. Yes. Okay. We're here for the dark gods. Ugh. Ugh. Gotta wait. Oh, yeah, shit. Uh, power. Yeah, power. That's the thing. Yep, nope, you should probably build fucking generators. I always forget about the generators. I always forget about the generators. It's almost like they're in the top row of that list because it's important. Almost as if. <laughs> I like this weird little pulsating bit we've got here. Good, so. good. Yep. Oh, yeah, I've made it shy. It stopped pulsating. Oh, the yeah, no, the um, Space Marine Fortress thing has that as well. And this, this face that occasionally uh, gets a little bit screamy. Uh, Titan, uh, Webb has played Total Warhammer, the Total War games. Or not for him, we talked about it earlier, actually. I feel the warp yeah. overtaking me. It is a good pain. What I to do? I forgot that he's not uh, one I can just pop inside a, uh, a unit. Take us to battle! Uh, you know, Mazu, question. Um, you know, talking about how the undivided thing works. How is a how can a demon prince be undivided? Because they need the favor of a chaos god to become a to ascend, right? Whatever you desire. But Just curious. I mean, I feel the you web can... overtaking me. <laughs> Because Bellicor was the first in all four gave him power. Okay, thank you. Oh, bless us, great one. The uh, Chaos Gods occasionally realise that working together might be helpful. We will build it for you. But it's not in their nature. You... Yes. Much. And it usually fucks up eventually. Yep. Uh, what on earth am I doing? Ah, yes. Just have those moments where I'm like, uh. Don't question, just consume products. No, Fuzzball, that's not what we're getting at. The only prince that is undivided is Bellicor. That's explained with him getting all four marks. All the princes need to have one of the four. Okay, cool. Thank you. We're here for the yeah, no, I, I, I think uh, one of the one of the big uh, problems uh, with um, with something with, with any um, any fictional world that is based around a game is that it always has to pull several, it has to pull multiple duties. Forfeit. Yeah. Um, if they weren't trying to make, like, let's be fair, like, Bro Trader and shit, I don't think was really attempting to make a fully formed fucking canon story as much as it is just giving you a setting, and yeah. now it's become a canon story. And so it gets, um, sometimes it's, uh, you know, Things can mm -hmm. get. Uh, sometimes there, there's those points where there is um, a pull between things that are good for the tabletop game that are not good for the lore, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. And you know they have to try and strike a balance between the two. Yeah. If if they were just a series of novels, then there's lots of pressures that wouldn't be on it. And if it was just a tabletop game and the lore was sort of irrelevant, it also wouldn't matter. But yeah. Since both do exist. Uh, both maintain the issue. Oh, hello, the Necron Lord. Oh, not this again. Blood. Did he just walk right into the middle of your base? Uh, yeah. Well, I think he, he like teleported in. And, yeah. Oh, okay. That doesn't make it better, but it does make it funnier. Yeah. He had the element of surprise and everything. Oh wow, there's a couple of... Uh, okay, so there's actually multiple uh, Necron factions in this... Uh, on this map. And because of when this game was made, they're all the same. <laughs> you might be different colours. Because uh, I just need to destroy uh, 70, uh, 70 units. Um, yeah, I do, I do like someone just saying there, which god exalted Orgar? I'm pretty put spotty on the lowers, and someone just replied with, they just gave him something so he, could go, he would go away. It's like, yeah, yeah, just yeah. fuck off, mate. It is okay. as no one likes Orgar. He's a bit of a chode. Not as much as, you know, Erebus or Corfedon, but still. Yeah. 
there's, there's a few. Oh, thank you for the, the sub there, Hypnodisc. Of course. Even, even the Chaos Gods think Horkar is a freaking narc. <laughs> You're like, oh, fucking weird. We see the target. Eating resistance. I'd like to commend everyone for not making um, ridiculous uh, meme jokes that we've heard over and over and over um, before. I appreciate that because uh, I would have had an aneurysm by now. Yeah, yeah. Me and Weber old. <laughs> we've heard them all before many times. The Lord is, uh, is trying shit again. Did not go well. I welcome his attempt. Yeah. Is the way to hell. Okay, so I've got to kill 70 units, which uh, I don't think is going to be... No, well, but, with Necrons, that may be a bit more difficult. But... Uh, I've already killed 19, so... Okay, never mind. Chaos is our master. Your will? I feel like I'll just send a couple of these uh, the Chaos Marine squads and just uh, see what they're doing. By the way, 66 viewers right now. We've been hopping between like the mid 60s and uh, uh, low 70s, which is insane. And thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, everybody. It's been lovely to have you here. I apologize. The snipe is not here and said you got me. Uh, so you don't get the full sniping web experience. But you do get the, uh, the whip and longfang experience. The location Decidedly really different and more misanthropic. Chaos, consume oh, okay. us! Of course, we do your bidding. Chaos, okay, now I'm actually looking for us. Necrons. They're just like... <laughs> they all fucked off. Yeah, they're all fucked off. <laughs> Chaos, consume us! They've realised you're trying to get a kill count and they've just went, yeah. oh no, fuck this. Ha 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 ha. Unky Fang. Oh, I hate that. Good job, Mattress <laughs> Wolf. Chaos is our master. We are the destroyer. Okay, I'm up to 25. Of course, we do your bidding. The location. Yeah, um, ma uh, Call makes a good point. Just don't break their base and you'll get your kill count, no problem. We are yeah. The destroyer. I've got like 20 minutes to do it, so. Of course. Oh, it's timed as well. Okay. Yeah. We are under attack. Oh no. <laughs> you know, I might be able to pull it off purely from the Necron Lord keep of coming course. back to life in the middle of my base. <laughs> that is the way to hell. Take us to battle. That um. is the way to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how much they're just not around is uh... Chaos, consume us. It's fine. Like hello. Chaos is our master. Necron. Take us to battle. Chaos is our master. We just uh Crash. Okay, I don't, I don't want to destroy your base. Are they making it difficult for you to not destroy their base? I mean, I'll, I'll take out the scarabs. But... Mm, mm. Alright, well, I guess we'll just, we'll just pass through. We're just passing through. Don't worry about it. You just get some passing shots off with your bolters as you hit and run. Everything's fine. Of course. We do your so I don't want to, like, restrict them too much that so they're continuing the to build. To mm. Take us to battle. You know what, I guess just just head back to the base. Take we'll us just... to battle. <laughs> it's, this is a bit of a weird situation because I'm like, oh, I guess, yeah, I've got to, like, kill stuff, but, like... Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Sanity is for the weak. The objective is I'm not sure lost we'll, we'll on us. Take the objective, I guess. Okay. All right. Okay. My life Didn't the thing say they have two bases? Someone in chat said. Oh yeah, because there's two factions. So. Yes. It is Plenty of chances to get the kills you need. The weak fight back. 
Um. Of course, we do. They have the thing on where I can't hurt them. So. Oh. There you go. I forgot they could do that. I did too. Okay, well, I'm halfway. You must kill more of them. Chaos is our master. Chaos is our master. So like this game would remember what you did on match screen battle, so if you wanted uh, you could build turrets out, uh, around where the enemy spawn. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 I get you. Uh, anytime I see a monolith, uh, have the monolith. Uh, for, uh, anytime I see a monolith, have the monolith. I haven't. Uh, if we destroy that, then this is over pop into my head. Oh, from the old intro, yeah. Sorry, took me a minute. Um, is there anyone around here? Kind of... Oh, yeah, the turret we don't want. Turret can go. You're not allowed to have turrets. I forgot Worlds of Warships had a fucking 40k crossover, but then oh, again, yeah. they've also had a Transformers one, so you know. They 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 do some shit. They yeah. I feel like they, there's people at the at the uh, whatever fucking dev studio that makes that game are just like ah uh, we we have friends in these places or or these are things we enjoy so fuck it. Yep. Okay, right, well, we'll, we'll head back and we'll uh, just carry on, yes. carry on adding to our forces and then they can send some shit at us and then as the time gets closer we can, yeah. Yep. Head forward, I suppose. Anything for the great powers. I can build a machine, Pink. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Enemies. We need enemies. 42. We are taking fire! Good. Take us to battle! Hey Athena, how you doing? Hello. Of course. We, do we have actual things to kill. Hello. We will strip the flesh from their bones. We see the top. Uh, did you see the Warpforge demos? 40k digital card game. Try it early this evening. It needs work. I knew nothing about that. I knew that was a thing that was being made, but uh, I, I, I'm not really a collectible card game guy in general, so I don't yeah, pay too attention to it, you know? We both did try the Horus Heresy one, I think, because it was hilarious that uh, uh, Abaddon had a weird Scottish accent. <laughs> It was strange. It was strange. I won't lie. I mean, I guess Cthonia is just Glasgow now. Fine. And I, I'm, I'm fine with accepting that, but also it is a little strange. And yeah, because none of the other Mono will seem to have it. Serve, we desire, Look, 40k in accents is a, a weird conversation oh, yeah, at the best of times. Fair, fair. I wonder if there's a third Necron force in the other form. Oh, oh, and the Lord's come back to life. The Lord is dead. Just a few souls. Loving how this is working out for you. Yeah, if it, if it was like infinite time, I could literally just leave it. Like, and yeah. you would eventually be, um... All of it. It is a little Abandon strange. Abandon the wee fucking wanker, yeah, pretty much. Because there, the, there was ads for it all over the place on YouTube at the time, and I just remember hearing them say, like something to Loken, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, it is... mm. Oh, the Lord's come back again. <laughs> Give him points for effort. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's, he's going for it. He's Thank going you, for master. it. We must they have at least balanced, seem to have balanced him so that um, he can resurrect, but he's also not super strong. Hmm. Which I mean, you know, that's fine. Okay. We must yes, this isn't the most exciting uh, of, uh, of levels. Because I'm mostly just letting the Necrons build their forces up a bit so they have enough for me to kill. That's fine. Uh, random non 4 key question. If a sci-fi game had a literal Scottish faction, would it be weird if they called themselves Caledonia? 
pound to remember is Caledonia the uh the term made by the Romans for Scotland, I think it is. So it would be a little weird, but also you could go with like, I don't know, Caledon or something like that. I think the uh the thing is, um I, I one of one of the things I think gets lost sometimes is uh that a anything for the great something powers. that's like an allusion to yeah, a, a real world thing doesn't have to be one to one. The metaphor does not have to. Oh be yeah, totally. Uh, of the of the various pseudo Scottish factions in 40k, which which is your favourite? Storm wardens. We're never going to see them again, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of fucked. Storm wardens were legit quite, quite interesting uh, and fun. And, uh, yeah, I don't. I guess Games Workshop probably has the rights to them, but also it was made by Fantasy Flight, so they're just like, yeah, fuck it. I, th I, I, ha I think the way, like, when GW do licenses with people, it's basically, okay, well, if you make something in the 40k universe, we keep it forever. Yeah. Uh, the Tanith, first and only, were Scottish as well. Because they even had, like, fucking wood paint on and shit. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I have which is Celtic, which could be fucking. Well, when you met, when you say Celtic, it could mean from fucking anywhere because there was Celts in like Spain, but you know. Yeah. Take us to battle. Of course. Again, these things are not always one to one. <laughs> that is the way to hell. It's more likely when someone's talking, someone's talking about the Celts, they're thinking maybe they're the Irish and the Scots. Yeah. Okay, there we go. The power of the blood God All better now. Yep. Good. We did the thing. Take us to battle. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> They're doing hee hee ha ha ho. <laughs> we have earned fury. So now we can attack multiple times per turn. Oh, so that's. Oh, fun. right, okay. Mazu, don't think about it, it's fine. Don't ask if that was literally corn, you will only be disappointed by the answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we can attack the uh, Imperial Guard's forces directly, or we can head back and then the next turn go into and attack the Imperial Guard base directly. Which I think that, that'll be mm -hmm. a good... Because uh, that'll probably be like the last turn we'll do, yeah. so... Uh, there's a severe lack of Anzac in 40k. I would agree with that, actually. Uh, Australian forces. Mm. Although <clears throat> I do, I do, I would like to see. Um, uh, can I just auto? I just want to auto resolve. Okay, Problem good. you run into with doing like Anzac <laughs> is you're going for colonial Australia rather than maybe indigenous. Yeah. <laughs> Personally, I I want I just want uh, Imperial Guard and Stubbies. Um, Mm-hmm. Uh, what is what is the 40k own gun? I mean, the fact that stub guns exist and they are basically just Cronus, modern firearms, give or take, became Governor probably 80s style. Uh, that would exist. The planet, just so you know, uh, this text is voiced. So. When his enemies launched attacks on his capital, not telling you to shut up, to just tell yeah. them. With no, it's hard to hear you over him. Experts in planetary defense, the men of the Imperial Guard were heavily dug in and fortified in Victory Bay. Any attacker would face well-armed and well-supplied soldiers, oh, no. backed by powerful armored columns and artillery positions. The Guard's only real weakness was its morale. Although most soldiers served honorably, the men of the regiment's 5th Company had proven less than stalwart and were placed under command of Regimental Commissar Anton Gebet in a forward base Anton on the northern Gebet. shore of the Victoria River. Without Gebet's whip, the company and its base would surely fold. Other companies took position in forward bases in more sensitive areas, ready to drive the enemy off. Still, determined attackers could overrun those positions. 
Governor Alexander remained I have no confident, idea how difficult or not difficult Indeed, this, uh, any opponent who this made level is, so this should be fun. You'll be fine. ...would find themselves staring down the barrel of the massive Hellstorm cannon of an Imperator Titan. Fifth Company, this is the moment of truth. You this will is not the moment fear. of truth. You will not falter. You will not give a single <laughs> step to the enemy. Athena knows this off by heart. <laughs> if you will not serve in combat, then you will serve on the firing line. Oh, Kamasans. Mm -hmm. Enemies of the Imperium, hear me. You have come here to die. The immortal is with us, and we are okay. invincible. His soldiers will oh, no, strike so afraid you down. Of fucking His war machines will crush you under their treads. His mighty guns will bring the very sky crashing down upon you. You cannot win. The Emperor has given us his greatest weapon to wield. So make yourselves ready. We are the First Cronus Regiment, and today is our victory day. Okay. What a rousing little speech, Governor. Oh, hey, was that reuse of that old Titan body from Winter of Salt? Can't touch us here. Yeah. Ridding the Imperial yeah, that's the one like um, at the end of the campaign as the Imperial Guard you fight off Terran, uh, Terran's Necrons with. And it wasn't these Necrons, it was another uh, version of the Necron Warrior model. Oh, was it? I, I never got far in Winter of Salt, I just never really liked it, honestly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is all... They were... The... Those other models were funky looking as well. <laughs> we are chaos with your chaos. I mean, I don't blame them for being a bit funky looking because they were made for, like, one mission. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How can I serve? You're not necessarily going to put your all into it. We mm -hmm. will serve you, and in return... Are they black and gold? Ah, uh, you, you guys have probably played it more recently than me, so... I, you know, you'll know better. <laughs> Here to relieve you. Oh, hello, it's just a fucking chimera. Alright, okay. Do you want? We oh, that's also a chimera with troops in it, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Because it's all the last guns in the sides firing. I do love that. Oh, 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 okay. Now we have multiple. Alright, okay. They're all... Okay. You, you okay there, friend? Like, it has not gone well for them. But I, w I, would, but... I would approve if we did not have to deal with quite so many chimeras. Fair. My life is forfeit. Okay. Right. We, we we done? We done? We will build it for you. No, no, of course we're not done. Uh, if I remember correctly, the um, home like the home base attacks in this, um, like whilst they are they are you are kind of peppered with stuff. In some respects, they end up being kind of a little simpler because you kind of just can basically go through the level. Yeah, I think it's a meat grinder you're going to have to deal with. So as long as I can make, like, a defensible position, I can just keep pushing forward and, like, take oh, yeah, out yeah, bit yeah. by if bit. You, if you make a decent position that you can just keep sending troops out from, you'll mm. be fine. It wasn't until Soulstorm where the base attacks become alley. Again, uh, again, I didn't play much of Soulstorm either, because it um, wasn't uh, very good. It was known as the Black Sheep expansion. Well, it wasn't made by the same people, was it? Yes, yes. Oh Zelda fuck, I vaguely it. remember something about that, yeah. How can I serve? 
Oh fucking! I've done. I've done it again. I completely forget that energy is a concept yes, in this fucking game. <laughs> I don't know oh, why. It's one of your resources, Web. Make yeah. as many generators as you can. It's like ah yes, there are only two resources in the game. Ah yes, you're just going to entirely forget one of them exists. Like ah cool. <sighs> Uh, gave us Colossi in proper scale. Nothing in 40k is ever, like, especially tabletop is ever going to be the proper scale. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's like, you know, the the, the common question, how do 10 rhinos, uh, 10 rhinos, 10 marines, 10 fit, marines inside fit inside a rhino? A rhino. It's like, well, it's because a rhino is much bigger than it is on the tabletop. Because mm -hmm. if they were actually true scale, uh, they'd be, like, rhinos would be the size of land raiders, you know? Yeah, and then think about what size a land raider would then need to be. Yeah. On and on and on. It gets... It, it does get a little bit fuzzy around the edges of some stuff. Yes, Is the right master. scale, some of it isn't. It, yeah. yeah. How can I serve? Like, they like, their best. Like so many things, the actual answer is, I oh, don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. True scale Bane Blade would just be a, tr a table. Yeah. Yeah. Ah yes, they're bigger on the inside, make a wooga wooga sign for the move. Of course Golden One, you're right. Mm -hmm. This is uh cannon. Yep, cannon. We are your favourites, are we not? Eh, come on. Generate stuff so that I may uh I may push. Continue forward. this murder rampage. It is a good pain. Okay. Uh, so. Whatever you desire. It's funny though, going back to Soulstorm and seeing all Deldar like before their huge refresh in 5e. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So it wasn't that it long before they did get a big the big refresh, pain. so. Mm -hmm. It was a little wild. I hmm. Hmm. Interesting that. Did I just see? Did I just see some red? Oh no! Uh, I'm seeing the Necrons in this. Yeah. No, start. Start. Like, <laughs> yeah, Mutanto. Like video games always fuck up. Well, no, everything always fucks up scale because it's it becomes a a, a game of a, a compromises to make things look right. Mm. I, I one of the things I actually quite like in Battlefleet Gothic is the. Um, it is explicitly stated that none of the ships are intended to, like, be to scale yeah. with anything else. Yeah, because you want to have models that you can actually pick up and look at and uh, won't lose immediately. The, the, this, they basically say that the ship, it's at the actual space it is, it is um, inhabiting is the space Your where its stand is. Mm -hmm. um, That's a good way of doing it. And even then, the stand is still bigger than they actually are. Um, but yeah. that's to give you a rough idea of yes, the actual area master. that they're inhabiting. Mm -hmm. Which is, yeah, I think is an interesting way of sort of uh, dealing with that. Um, as an issue. We are under attack. Go, 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 go. Oh no, we're under attack Scaling... by bastards. Uh, uh, as soon as I... Or the day that I saw a video where someone showed how many times the USS Defiant changed size in Deep Space Nine, I understood why scaling can get fucked. Yeah. The Defiant is, by the admission of the people that made the show, as big as it needs to be, like, for the, the scene, scene question. Yeah. Okay, so let's... Okay, so there's a bunch of fucks up there. Right, okay. Actually, I can probably just go around. Let's get rid of them. On our way. Or at least attempt to. Actually, come to think of it, you can kind of tell that already with the Defiant because if it was the correct scale, I'm betting, or if it was to a certain yes, scale, the amount of rooms that they showed in it would not fucking work. Oh the yeah, the, this this is the thing. Uh, I, again, what do we do, sir? Things are First as big company. as they need to be. Hold the enemy back, no mm -hmm. the cost. Getting this is also maybe circling back to the the whole fucking rant I had earlier about uh, being an encyclopedia. The numbers don't fucking matter. Oh, 
Well, we found their forward base. <laughs> yes, the Warthog run at the end of Halo 1 is bigger than the entire Pillar of Hall, which is the ship that you're racing through in that mission. Oh, yeah, like, that, that thing is obscenely sized. Yeah. But it's fucking fun because it's that big. <laughs> Okay, right. We have found the forward base. Excellent. So we now know uh, we now know what we're aiming for. <laughs> hey, well, why would you want the USS Titan to be uh, the hero ship of a new show when the Enterprise F is right there? Because the Enterprise F is too powerful, big, and boring. The chaos gods. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I completely agree. <laughs> you can't be an underdog when you're the Enterprise F. <laughs> um, you can have you can have more fun stories when the ship is not uh, perfect and outguns everything all the time. And also a uh, fucking um, like complete say. Mm. Uh, have you tried the Firestorm or Cronus mod? I did years ago. How is that uh, one? I, I talked earlier about like how I'm not in that general. That one fan. is more fun because it's more based on actual tabletop stuff of the time oh, it was well. made. Uh, so you got like stern guard units and stuff like that. It was nice. Yes, master. Can you get around that back way? Is that a way into the base? I mean, Mazu, the same point still stands. I, I would begin my usual bit of uh, screaming about how the Enterprise J is a terrible design, but also that wouldn't be a fun hero ship. Because it's this massive uh, ultimate boss ship. Like, it's, eh. I also struggle to put into words how much I dislike how it looks. <laughs> I was trying to avoid the rant, but yeah, no, it's fucking awful. Because <laughs> uh, it's a bodge job. It's like a, t yeah. a couple of things they had. It was around. someone's concept for the Altair class, and they just shoved a saucer on it. Yeah. So it's it's very much not really supposed to be it. anything. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was a concept design that they just happened to have lying around. They're like, yeah, hey, you fucking use that, make it the J. It's like, eh, okay. It is a good pain. Also, they called it the Universe class, didn't they? Fuck you. Oh, yeah, yeah, they did. I only know what you've talked about, uh, Star Trek. Yeah, no, that's fair. No, the, the, the Enterprise J was this, like... They're calling it the Universe class, which to me means it's the biggest, grandest ship possibly. Possible. Um, mm. Because the galaxy was the hero ship of TNG, so, eh. um, and it's the same problem you have with like the Enterprise E and uh, those the TNG movies where it's this it's a warship. You can't really beat it by strength of arms. Like you have to create shenanigans as to why it's uh, it can be taken down. Ah, Excal, there's exactly the point. <laughs> the the Enterprise F, if it follows STO canon. Um, has a fucking separate escort ship built into uh, the tail end that's the size of the Defiant. We need enemies. <laughs> it's overpowered as shit for it to be a hero ship in the show. Mazu, if the hero ship uh, in a show was a derf, that would be perfect. That's a good size. I, I would actually be fine with it being a derf. <laughs> yeah. That seems like a good um, TOS Lord X episode. Yeah. Plus, you know, uh, I am. Second platoon, attack! I'm, I'm behind uh, pro derf propaganda. We are taking fire. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess we can come round that way then. All right. Well, I'm coming round this way then. That is the way to. Excal, I agree with you uh, completely about giving Jeffrey Combs a regular uh, role. God yes. damn it. Yes. But I do wonder if he's just at the age where he likes taking the bit parts. Yeah. You know? A bit more shell for him. No need to be on set every fucking day. Doesn't have to get into fucking prosthetics every day. Yep. Oh, it replenishes that, uh, that very specific squad of, uh, 
Right, that is that is too many guardsmen. Sorry. I mean, not that it's really mattered. Uh, uh, yeah, Mutant told the guy that played Locke uh, was an admiral in TNG in the episode The Pegasus. I actually watched it recently. It's a good one. <laughs> Do you think do you think there's enough uh, enough bullshit in this forward base? Mm. Uh, yeah, Excal, like the the era of like TNG Deep Space Nine and Voyager had so many just character uh, character actors and working actors just flowed in and out of the series. Oh it was great. yeah, like. Some some actors where it's like, oh yeah, they played like six different characters throughout the run of the show. Yeah. M. Ross played several. Oh yeah. Before he became Tuvok. He was a Klingon at one point. Like that was wild. Yep. Take us to battle. He was also on uh, the Enterprise B, which they made into a plot in Voyager. <laughs> it's like, ah yes, we're gonna make it so that you're not just a dude. <laughs> Now you will see Ooh. what it means to face the Imperial Guard. Artillery, open fire! Where's... We are the destroyer. Well, got to deal with artillery then. Mm-hmm. Okay, but we've taken out the forward base. So we are... We are getting there. Chaos is our master! Uh, Jeffrey Combs was the best part of Enterprise. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I feel that is uh... the bit that, the bit that always bothers me. Um, we are <sighs> that always 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 bothers me about the Enterprise uh, show is that they had a good cast. Yeah, yeah, and they kind of squandered it. Like I think Scott Bakula could have made a really good cap or a good Captain Archer if he was yeah. given half decent scripts and didn't it... kind of shift his views constantly. The the problem with that with uh, with his character is just how he's written, like yeah. As in, he's written like a wanker. We're here for the dark gods. Especially that one episode. <laughs> I refuse to apologize for my dog pissing on a tree and thus uh, will create an a galactic incident. Like, fuck yep. you, man. <laughs> There's a fucking sentinel. Yep. Uh, lots of regular initials played actors and other things. The guy who played Ron showed up in Nemesis in a deleted scene playing a troll and has more played a Kazon kid in Voyager. Uh, and said Kazon shows up in STO helping you out. Oh, nice. It is a good pain. They're, they're sick of Vindicare on me. Kill them to crush! Rend them limb from limb! Are you still fucking... Uh, why does it feel like every episode centered around Worf and TNG just boils down to Worf fucking up and Picard being disappointed? That's not... true. May seem that way, but that's not true. It does happen a bit more than it feels like it should. Yeah, but like, the, when Worf is like, oh yeah, no, you can just exile me from the, the Empire because you're all fucking hypocritical assholes. Um, Picard respects him for that. Oh yeah. I think, part of, the, um, I think part of the problem is that it uh, took until DS9 before they... Oh yeah, no, Worf got uh, Miles better in DS9. Yeah, because they were like, oh yeah, we should make him competent. Whatever you desire. Mm. I'll catch you later, Athena, you know, enjoy your stream. Shit, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, we will work faster. STO is the... Combs was way in, yeah. Mm. And Brunt. Didn't he play himself three times in one episode? I think he's only ever been. Uh, he's, he's, well, he's Was it played. Just in front? <laughs> well, he's, he's played multiple ways in one episode. Yes, yes. Brunt, FCA. Um, the Chaos Gods speak clear. Star Trek Online's an interesting game because, on one hand, it's kind of more fan service than a lot of people give it credit for. Um. But it is enjoyable when they get to do stuff as well because it's that sort of non-canon area where you can just do fun shit. Yeah, you just shenanigans. <laughs> yep. As you wish, but set us loose. 
I oh, I'm being you. shot. There, there. Oh. I fucking see you. I fucking see you. Thoughts on the idea of Hugh of Borg's name being Hugh, man. Yeah, fine, whatever. Oh, fuck. Uh, do I have... He's dead. Um... It is as though a thousand miles cry out in pain. There's a Vindicare. He's right fucking here. But I, I don't have the, the thing to see him. I seethe with purpose. Uh, do I actually have the... You don't have any fast moving stuff to scout around, do you? Uh, not, not just yet. Enemies, we need enemies. Uh, what the fuck is I have some in my mind there, and it's gone. Uh, <laughs> Horn Berserker standing on the Vindicator. Vindicator, where is that assassin? Yeah. They hear them. My life is forfeit. Because I haven't got, um... Oh, 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 attacking forces. This is Governor Militant Lucas Alexander. Your commander is dead. You cannot win. We need Lay down enemies. your arms or be destroyed. I am not your Belfast has a review of enemies thing in the, in the tainted auspex, I think. Oh, I shit. Um, for the weak. Fucking rebuild him. I actually forgot Hellhounds were in this. Can I can I rebuild him? Do right. you have the technology? I, I can rebuild him. It can be done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything for the great it is as though a thousand miles uh, try out in Oh yeah, the, the DS9 episode where Clark got a bunch of latinum, then he finds the out the, the the latinum or the gold press latinum and the latinum wasn't in the gold cases. Yes. It's yes. just worthless, we worthless gold. <laughs> yeah, it's great. We need enemies. Right, we'll take these guys and we'll try and uh, deal with uh, if there's anything anything that's uh, nearby. <laughs> Whilst we uh, rebuild uh, Eliphas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mornin has 900 stomachs. Most talkative guy in the station, that. Oh, it's terrible. Can't get oh, fucking him. shut him up. Oh, yeah, I forgot how heavy weapons teams can kind of, like, dig in. Can they? Yeah. I know they take a second to set up. Yeah. That's oh, no, that's the, right. um, sorry, the guard ones, yeah. Oh, uh, what the fuck is Eddington's problem? Uh, he's Eddington. Chaos is our master. Also, he has fighting fascists. Yeah, he's um, he's not entirely wrong. But he does have a like martyrdom hero complex oh, about the whole thing. Very much so. We do your bidding. I see we oh, oh, hello. Which hello. is exactly what Cisco plays into in one episode because he knows yeah. that. Uh, Eddington will hand himself over. Yep. Also, I'm going into melee combat with the Lima Mustang. Good, good. Carry on. It seems broadly to be working. Oh, oh, yeah, chain axes. Although I did just see one Berserker just yeah. get point blanked by a battle cannon, which yeah. was hilarious. I can't remember <laughs> where the. Because um, I know you've obviously got to take out the bastards, but I can't remember where the bastards are. Hello. Did you find them? I found Ogrens. Oh! Lightning to me, so he's now here. There's Lightning as a currency, because it's rare and he can't be dealt with. Red card. Technology, but he's got to be in the same way. 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 Uh, the Ferengi take care of their own fucking problems with Lightning. It's not silly in the sense of it's silly because it can inflate. It's silly because it's currency, which is inherently silly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as Cole said, welcome to capitalism. Yep. <laughs> Remember how at one point all you had to do in life was strike oil and that was Europe? Yep. 
That was just you were, you were done for the rest of your life. Yep. Okay. Well, you know what? It's not going it's not going immensely smoothly, but we are we are pushing forward. You're getting there, buddy, you're getting there. In a universe where uh, you can take your body waste and use it to make more technology, why do you currency? Um, yeah. Because capitalism inherently doesn't make sense, but it is maintained by people. Uh, uh, I, I think they mean. I think they mean in Star Trek the replicators. Oh yeah, well, I think because the Ferengi are a, a parody of capitalism. <laughs> so yeah. It is as though a thousand miles cry out in pain. Uh, also, yeah, no, um, the, the Ferengi, what does FCA stand for again? Uh, Federation Ferengi Commerce Agency. Ferengi Commerce Agency, that was it. Yeah, they, they would probably take, uh, uh, take the Latinum Hall to then be put into the economy in the way that the Ferengi would want it because, you know, capitalism is all they do. Oh, that was a good, uh, rolling barrage there. Um, does anyone read the lane gene people? Oh, does that hellhound have the old style flavor nozzles on it? Uh, oh, those were the days. Uh, Excal, where did you get that description from out of interest? Because I haven't heard about all the stipend uh, stuff you brought up there. Uh, and like public service and stuff like that. I haven't heard of that bit apart before. It is a good but at the very least, yes, like, you, you, you are allowed your right to shelter and food and water to live in the Federation. Star Trek Adventures talks about it, right? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we're slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. This this small band of uh, of Marines that I sent out has uh, done remarkably well. Weathered the storm well. pretty well. Um, yeah, no X Cal, I think that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, web so, so you have no contacts there. The Federation has such a good in, uh, system as described in STA. Uh, you get all of your basic needs covered, plus a stipend based on uh, a percentage of your world output for entertainment. Mm. As in, the money in the stipend is for entertainment um, and luxury. Uh, if you want more, you can do public service or get assistance to start a business. <laughs> yeah, it works. Because, yeah, acquisition of wealth is not the driving force in our lives. It doesn't contradict that, so I'm, I'm fine with it. Yeah, yeah. And, like, the thing is, the, they do have to exist in, uh, in spaces where, you know, commerce does still exist. Yeah. Yeah, a Starfleet officer gets more for their stipend. Uh, stipend? Stipend? I'm not sure about myself. Uh, because they're doing a more dangerous bit of public assistance. Yeah, okay. But they are no more important to society than a doctor or the guy that owns that hot dog cart. I would argue hot dog cart guy is more important than anyone. Yeah, he is uh, the most important and we must protect him. The giver of food. Yep. The fool to bring that uh, Early TNG does mention Riker and Diana getting paid in that the moment actually seems. Yeah, that's... Me and... We've talked about that in a stream not long ago, how we reckon um, if you're, say, Federation officers on DS9, you're probably going to get an amount of latinum mm. so you can interact with the culture around you. Yeah. Okay, my, my little group got ki finally killed, but they did manage to push forward quite far. Hmm. And caused a fair no, amount I'd, of I'd, I'd be proud of them. And now I'm just being assaulted yes. by fucking sentinels. Mm. Not entirely sure where the sentinels are coming from. Though. 
almost to the death canal. There's a term. Um, I'm guessing that's the uh, bit where the um, yeah down here, which at the end is where the uh, the cannon is, I believe. Which is that like a thing? I think you have to like push through there like quickly because mm -hmm. it goes off every now and again. Uh, okay. Would be fun if they were the rope trader egg on leg sentinel. I've never heard them be called that before, but I love it. Very, it's accurate. It's accurate. I can't argue. I, I, I should also mention that leg is spelled with two G's, so it's egg on leg. Egg on leg. Yep. Yep. No, those are. I, I do. I, I, I've never tried to pick one of those up, so I don't know if they're. Um, do you hear the voices mm, yeah. Too? Like how difficult they are to find, you know. Do yeah. You want? Fight on. It will be done. I always wonder when it comes to stuff like that. Is it like are they just going to all have their legs snapped by now? I don't think so. I, I have seen them about, um, I am not your but I just haven't um, like I thought about the buying time. them. You know. Mm -hmm. No, the legs aren't as spindly as I thought. They may be okay, actually. Okay. Web, do you want links to Spanish recasters? I think Web would prefer the original. Thank you. Thank you, okay. Oh, thank you for the sub there, Willow. Thank you very much. I, I have, like, I, I don't want to get too deep into it because obviously it's a, a slightly uh, different subject, but uh, I did find, like, some uh, recasters recently and I have some very complicated feelings about it. Mm. Okay, fair. Sure. Because it's like, it's one thing, like, you know, because like, I, I found some that also, like, they're doing recasts of like modern time. stuff, which is like, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's gonna no. get you in trouble. Um, yep. But they're also doing recasts of like really old stuff We're that hasn't been in print cause. for decades, and like, frankly, mm -hmm. where else are you supposed to get it from? Thank you. Thank yep. you, um, but they're uh, uh, hello, Edgar. But they're also like doing fucking recasts of like smaller company stuff, and I'm like, hey man. Like, mm, yeah, that that gets a little funky. And uh, Dark Hole, thank you for gifting yeah. a sub to an Acromech. Thank you very much. I managed to stop myself from seeing an Acromech. <laughs> uh, oh, I just found a Rogue Trader Sentinel on um, eBay. How much are they? Uh, what's your guess? Uh, forty quid. Close, it's 60. Okay, yeah, that checks out. Although I did just find one in an auction for 23 quid. Of course, we do That That's. Uh, that, there's something that if I had an army that used them, then I would be very tempted. Yeah. I've also just found a. I think someone's. Did they ever make a plastic one for any reason? What, a uh, plastic? Oh, it's the epic scale one. That's why it looks wonky as shit. Ah. <laughs> I was like, ah, that looks like it's more roughly molded. I wondered if there were maybe like Space Crusade or something. No, no, epic. <laughs> yeah, the uh, those are a bit uh, a bit janky, shall we say? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, uh, someone selling uh, one of the wolf, the Rogue Trader Wolfmen. Why aren't we well, clearly it's Rogue Trader anyway. You, you don't see the Wolfman very often. That's why it's 55 quid. Yep. Because the Fishman, of course, got re, uh, re been uh, recast, well, not recast, but like the castings are now being made by um, Thingy, um, War Games Foundry, so you can still get them. Uh, no, well, uh, well 60, you, yeah, Great British Pounds. Not dollars. Yeah. Uh, problem there, Long Fang, is the word option. I'm well aware, Rocket. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, rhinos do not have any more transport capacity to give it up for like ammo storage and shit. No predators. Did I say rhinos there? Sorry. Oh, what? Yeah. Brain fried. Yeah. They have. Uh, I've not. I can't remember. I can't remember if they did in the the first iteration in the Rogue Trader version. I can't remember if those had transport capacity. Because mm. sometimes there, there is some stuff like that. It makes sense to me that they wouldn't anymore purely because they're carrying ammunition for mm. at least three guns. <laughs> at least. Yeah. Maybe a storm um, as well. Yeah. 
Musanto, uh, that means the, uh, I, I get your point about platinum being like mercury and thus highly toxic. That doesn't mean that the toxicity would affect Odo. Because Odo is Odo. And toxicity is a relative thing. Yep. Things that are toxic, are to like, uh, you know, there could be an alien species that uh, oxygen is toxic to them. Yeah. Uh, also, you know, um, latinum plating might result in something that isn't toxic. We need enemies. How do you make a plate? Uh, how do you make a, or how do you plate something out of a mercury-like substance? Uh, it's the twenty-fourth century. Sci-fi bullshit. <laughs> The answer is always, ah, some sci-fi bombs. Uh, who was it that drank Latinum? That was Morn. Uh, and that's In... why he lost his hair. Yep. Uh, Requires and Odo is not a permeable substance. Give me chaos energy so I can get the last cannons on the fucking Predator. No, oh, there's someone selling an anvil as well. Fun. How much that? So... 50, 45 quid. Yeah, yeah, that checks out. Mm. I'm, I'm kind of um, content at the moment that I've not got. Um... Worm 40k war gear book. What? Yeah, it's a uh, the one I always forget about. <laughs> to put it bluntly. Is it one you require? Uh, I. Yes, but I don't. Uh, okay. How much are you going for? Oh, it's an option that ends in 12 minutes and currently it's at 4 oh. yes, yes, Do you want me to whack a bid in for you while you're streaming? Uh, mm, maybe. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I'll put a max bid of a turn on. Taking me. It is a good pain. I will give you it some more wounds back in the woods. Yep. In pain. Okay. Uh, okay. I think I, I think we've probably got enough uh, enough lads. I've just been kind of absent-mindedly building and upgrading. So. Yeah. Uh, oh, there is a rope trader zinch marine with a fungus body in auction. Oh. Huh. Yeah, there's a lot of the, some of the the, the rope trader chaos stuff is just fucking great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kind of but, sad that the last week we could see Odo on screen really was. No, nah, he, he gets a good send off in DS9. I'm okay with it. Yeah, yeah. Like I think I did, DS9 had like a, I think a pretty I pretty so nice end, ending. Uh, Gold yeah. cat bit aside, that I'm not really a fan. Of. I kind of wish rather than like the whole into hell ending uh it was just an ending where uh, for the rest of his uh you know for the rest of time cisco is just repeatedly punching him in the face <laughs> yeah that'd work that'd work Oof. I don't fancy being like a squad of five guardsmen just suddenly in the way of like a wave of chaos space marines. Mm. Feels like a bad place to be, you know? I'm actually, when I think about it though, I just read other people's comments about like, what they wish that would happen to the cat. It's like, I think someone would be disappointed or pissed off about it no matter what happened because it would never be enough. Yeah. That's kind of the thing, like, he was just a scumbag. And then the Nav Visitor had to fight her case for uh, the writers wanting her and, uh, or, or Kira and uh, uh, cat to have a relationship. And she was like, no. <laughs> please, please not that. I think that's how the thing about Kira's mother happened. Look at the Astronomicon for sale for £94. Jesus Christ. We do have that one, so. It's very good. It's very good. Nice. Nice. 
coming down here with a little bit more uh, more huts part than last yeah. time. You call exactly, exactly. Just oh, bad day. Uh, glad they didn't go that way. Uh, Berman had very little involvement in DS9. It was like, ah, oh, yes. The good series, Rick Berman had to do it. Yeah, yeah uh, he was too busy on Voyager. Um, <laughs> he was so too busy. I guess even Bear kind of took uh, after season. Two, I want to say, I just even better took over like the short on the DS9. Um, who I saw a podcast thing with him recently, and he's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and his biggest regret as a writer was um, uh, as a writer and showrunner was Profit and Waste. He straight up says that. Okay. I mean, yeah, understandable. Mm -hmm. Also, he looks awesome. He's got the, the little weird uh, round sunglasses and a, a purple beard. Oh shit! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm remembering it he now. Still looks like that. <laughs> is for the yes. You can't just pop out fucking hell out. That's just rude. As you. Well, I mean, I instantly destroyed it as soon as they uh, popped it out, so I feel like I did. Mm. Someone selling what well, they're calling a parody Rogue Trader Mini. Okay. It's the Ark's Tin Boy with the huge shoulders. Okay. I mean, it is technically an in-universe parody. Yeah. yeah. Guess the price. Uh. Fifty quid. Party. Okay, I I do I, I I do have one of those. Do you? Um, nice. Yeah, I do. Um, I've been I've been uh, I've been wanting to try and find a place to put it into my uh, Grot Rebellion. Makes sense. Go go go! Yeah, the thing's charging. On up. my command, fire the Titan cannon. Ah yes, yeah, that's the that's the asset from Winter Assault. Yeah. Begin recharge. I want that gun firing again. Meeting resistance. To be fair, what you were using on it, on the Titan body and Winter Assault, was like these point defense guns. I am not your mm. bootleg. That were like uh, many Falcon Mega Bolter looking things. I heard you the first mm. time. Okay, so, uh, where's your first, uh, little alcove to run into? Straight across. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, Corn Berserkers are getting into it. <laughs> That's fine. Everything's fine. Your men are rebelling. Did, did I tell you about the, in the Horus Heresy novels, the Proto-Space Marine Nito? You haven't beaten us yet. Yes, I know of him. <laughs> I thought you'd like him. Uh, so I remember someone bringing it up, like, uh, in our uh, old video. And it's like, mm. well... Uh, like, oh, oh, you know, you mentioned that, and it's like, he, he, the book that he's in literally didn't exist when we made that video. Yeah. Oh god, Cole has this fucking bit memorised. Straight across, murder, left, then right, back across, murder, cr across again, win, wall. Yeah, let's check that. Christ. Time for payback! Of course. Uh, four minutes and 46 seconds left, by the way. Uh, on uh, that book. Fingers crossed. Uh, I'm under attack! Codex and PD Alice for £5.50. Ah, yeah. <laughs> she got like two bucks. Uh, Rogue Trader rule book, obviously, yeah. for £6.50. 
The only problem with the Rogue Trader rulebook is that you can't always tell if it's an original one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this, uh, it looks original, just by the other stuff he's selling, I reckon it's original, but... I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He was just melee attacking the minefield. Good. Oh, thank you for the sub there, zombie wizard. Good name, thank you. 12 months. Oh yeah, I should probably uh, head back and do something about these fucking um, basilisks. I didn't realize that was where was they were. Madness. <laughs> Are they just there still bombarding you constantly? Yep. Good, good. good. Protect those generators, man. Two zombie wizards <laughs> hang out with <laughs> skeleton worry has done. I want There you go, Axel. Oh, the Titan Cannon's down, so... I think you win. Fire control. Initiate strafing run. So we'll go and, uh, we'll go and deal the with The Basilisks are where you need to cross the Death Canal again, apparently. Yeah. Because yeah. they're, like, just before it. Um, close resistance. When they were firing, where is it? Because it's on the little... Yeah, they're up here. There we go. What in the fuck is a warp forged venom crawl? Time for payback. That's one of them, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. This is a unit I don't remember. The chaos gods. Must be. It must be after my time before it came. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. It came with the new obliterators. Okay. Okay. Or the new model. Yeah, it's the the the, the crawling thing. It's this it's a spoiler thing. Yeah. We're back and better than ever! It will be done! Chaos has come! Just take us into the thick of it! That is the we way to hell! To Just take us into the thick of it! He feels the warp overtaking him. It is a good pain, etc. Good, good, bad to hear it. Why aren't we killing it? This guy's also selling him. Early. Run here, bro. Oh, nice. Warp snagger. Oh yeah, the uh, the original one. He's he's a very hairy boy. Yes, okay, we are talking about the same one then. He yep. is a hairy lad. How many squigs does he have attached to him? Too many. We are the destroyer! Or just enough. The warp is hot candle black. Yeah. God damn it, Cole. Okay. I'm, I'm shooting, like, two guys with some sandbags with las cannons in it. He's taking a remarkable amount of time to do anything. Yeah, you're not just vaporizing them, you know. Video games! Video games! And also that it's such an angle where probably the pathfinding of your troops is making it really annoying to kill them. Yeah, probably not helping. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, uh, let's push forward. You sound exhausted by now at this point. Oh no, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, oh, oh. There's an issue. There's an issue. It's the fucking Lehman Russ and a Chimera just at my base. Uh, mm, that is an issue, yes. Fire control. Initiate Fortunately, uh, there's a Defiant. Who Good. just fucking one punch man the fucking uh, Chimera. Yes, yes, we will work Good. Okay. I should probably save us. <laughs> yeah, it took longer to kill those two men with sandbags than the basilisks that I took out. Yes, that is very true. Oh, I don't know if eBay stopped that, you're making fucking flat right now. Of course, we do your next bidding. little thing is, yep, up here. Chaos! 
Consume us! Ah, the Chaos Gods speak clearly now. What's down here? Oh, what is there's just wish? oh, there's just one cultist here. <laughs> Grant us the gifts of the Chaos Gods. Yeah, fails and pedals. <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying uh, the uh, double predator uh, thing I've got going. Ah, uh, yes, the double pred male. Yeah. Produce the most powerful Imperial Guard unit, the Bane Blade. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Yep. yep. Bane Blade. Um. Uh, I have good news for you, Robin. Yes. I got the book. Oh, how much did it come to in the end? Uh, including shipping, £8.99. Okay. I should send you that. Yes. I just saw some rogue trailer Eldar and it included a sermon of the model we have now. Mm. Give Eldar a fucking break, man. <laughs> Full range, refresh, and face left, please. They could do that. They really could. Is for the Grant us the gifts of the Chaos Gods. It is as though a thousand miles cry out in pain. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. He's not wrong, Crater, though. He's second edition. Yeah. Uh, Excal, some of the Eldar models are in bad need of a uh, refresh. They did get new Guardians recently, right? Yeah, the uh, the Warp Spiders are the, uh, the classic um, desperate thing to update one. Yeah, and the Sermon's apparently second edition as well. Yeah, he holds up well though, in fairness. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Dark Eldar needs models that aren't fine cast. But what other stuff is still fine cast? Like, I'm never sure what stuff is actually still fine cast as well. Because I thought they'd have switched over to just like, you know, injection plastic by now. Uh, if it's an old model, then it, then they can't do it in plastic. Uh, yeah. Because they, uh, like they need to make specifically for that. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. We are getting there. You're doing great, buddy. I like that this cultist squad has somehow survived. Like it's 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 pretty it's looking pretty rough, but it's getting there. <laughs> Like, full, fully fledged Chaos Space Marine squads have gone down, but, uh, he's okay. I think we can balance. Alright, what else we got here? Uh, fancy stuff. Lots of weird doggos. Good, good. Chaos! <laughs> consume us! We will serve you, and in return, grant we'll us a poster for Warhammer 40,000 Squad Command. <laughs> for the Nintendo DS. I, I have that game. <laughs> it is not good. <laughs> <laughs> that was a THQ game as well, just checking. It was, it was, yeah. <laughs> They say time for payback, but I'm not. Mm, mm. All right, I think, I think we might be uh, down to our last area to clear. Good. 
High Elf Legion Reaver Cavalry. Nice. Uh, yeah, no, this this person that was selling that book is just selling a bunch of shit. No, oh, nice. Uh, Wood Elf War Dancers, Wizard Men Saurus, old metal ones, War Master stuff. There is a single corn berserker just standing there. This errand is beneath me. I'll deal with him in a second. Meeting resistance. I am a I'll let you know if I find any rocket. Oh yeah, was War Warmaster the epic version of fantasy? It was, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I thought so. Initiate strafing run. Oh, it's a bane blade. There's a bane blade. Bane blade. Um, deal with being bled. Yep, yep. Well, it, 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 it's it's dying. How many of your troops are dying? Disrupt this attack. Tell the Vindicator oh, we, we to eliminate their commander. One chance is all I need. Yeah. We'll take out the thing that builds the Bane Blade, so they can't fucking do that. Yes, again. yes. That's a rude. Even Jezail, uh, Jezails, Jezails, all the time. The false emperor has failed me as a lost guy. Perhaps it's time to embrace a new deity. Never. The emperor protects. This is uh, oh, well, soon getting a little hairy now. What about Man of War? I might need to start a new collection of tiny ships, god damn it. <laughs> Oh shit, they've finally taken out one of our predators. It's having fun long enough. Yeah, for those predators that will work for it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, misspelled Undead Bat Swarm is Undead Bar Swarm, which is awesome. Ah, sure. good old Bar Swarm. God, Metal Town of Gargoyle still in the cluster pack. With the old style pricing code letter on it. Oh, oh those were the days. There was a time, chap, where they didn't have the fucking price on them. They just had a letter code and you could go and check on the, the shelf had a banner that had all the pricing code uh, things on it. And then at other times they just had the, the, the actual price on it, depending on the era. It was really yeah. Uh, all my marines are getting kind of pulled up on each other. <laughs> one predator just just take out these vehicles. That's fine. What the fuck is Ral Partha? Ral Partha is an, a, uh, a miniature producer. Oh! Way free pewter, you say? Uh, uh, GW of Citadel, Fire specifically. Initiate used to have um, the, uh, the uh, license to produce Ral, Ral Partha minis in the UK. Really? That's right. Did it! Hey. I did the thing! You did a thing. I did a thing. You did a thing. I did a thing. <laughs> We're gonna keep going, but we should stop now. No. Before everyone keep just going, wants to kill keep us. Going. It's the only answer. Did a thing. Did a thing. Victory beats. Come on, post is gone. The command post is gone. Da 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 da. Overload the core. Yep. He's overloading the Titan cannon. Yep, yep. Oh, the Emperor! Oh, oh. Also selling a bunch of old video games. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, we have 
one for you, Wim. Ro Robot Wars, Arenas of Destruction for the PlayStation 2. Oh man, that game sucks ass. <laughs> Unreal 2, The Awakening. Yeah. Burning Crusade. The PS2 game of Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were Rabbit, that the was of the branded by Konami? What the fuck? Yeah, I have a lot of questions there. <laughs> mm. uh, Lego Creator, Nope, that's weird. Uh, Sorcerers, Amphion, and Zethus. Then performed a terrifying ritual using oh, these rotting terrifying ritual as the sacrifice. Oh. As opposed to the normal ritual. Yeah, the perfectly the normal of un, rot un problematic the ritual. During the Horus heresy. Oh, yeah, Tara ain't buying anything of that. The world Fuck you. Celebrated this day as that oh, I have a new crusade obtained uh, the support hot take of Nurgul, with... yep. the chaos god of I think the uh, the book with the fire in it logo is better than the one that the word readers have now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I prefer that one. Yeah. Mm. I have. Uh, wait. Cancellation. I, I have defeated the Imperial Guard race. Apparently. Mm hmm. <laughs> feel like you want about that but it's just happened <laughs> mm -hmm. okay cool well yeah there we go we we uh we have, we have beaten them i shall still save it just in case it decides the need to come back to this uh yeah. rocket there was no empire units i checked <laughs> also no man of war yeah man of war stuff can be expensive mm. But yeah, no, that 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 went uh, that went smoothly. It's almost like I was playing it on easy or something. <laughs> mm, funny that. But no, uh, I, uh, I I hope you enjoyed that little uh, that little dalliance uh, it, with uh, with Dawn of War, um, and uh, and hopefully made up a little bit for all of us who cannot be at Warhammer Fest this weekend. Yes. Um, yeah, Dawn of War still holds up. Still, still, mm -hmm. I, I, I still think it's still, still a fun game. And yeah, I, I particularly, mm -hmm. um, I, I think Dark Crusade's the strongest one, you know. Uh, or at least I, it's the one I prefer the most. Cause it's got enough of the the later guff in it, and the mm -hmm. campaign obviously has the, you know, arena like area um, control thing going on, which I think works really well. But it's not got completely over the top like it did by. Um, Soulstorm, yeah. Um, so yeah, like, yeah. So Soulstorm was the tipping point. Yeah, it was just a bit. It felt like a mod, um, mm. is what I think. And I, I say that with with all respect to mod creators, but you know, mods are built on top of an existing game. So you have you are at some point going to have some contrasting ideas of how the game is going to function. Yeah. Um. It was my same problem also, with... Um, before we lose all these lovely people, we should send them over to Alfie. We should, we should. Um, because that'll be funny. <laughs> but yeah, Everyone, my... all of you, I hereby request you go uh, raid... You, you join the raid train to go and uh, raid Hobby because it'll be really funny to see the reaction to that number of viewers. Yeah, I, th I think it'll, uh, we'll definitely get an ooh, you fucker. Um... Oh, I think we're going to get an ooh, you fucker, yeah. Especially if it gets the the, notif the raid notification that's uh, that's pretty big. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, uh, so thank you everyone for um, for uh, call uh, for calling in for uh, checking Joining in with us. us. Uh, yeah, um, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, we will see you. Well, I'll see you next week. Cause you're having a week off next week, aren't you? I am having a week off. Yes. Um, but yeah. yeah. So. Uh, Good day, everybody, and yeah, yes. go say hello to yes. the hobby, and yes. uh, we will see you later. Goodbye. Bye.